All right. Uh, all right. Another caller. Hello. 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 You are live on air. How are you doing? Yes, you know me. Sure, I know you. You are the idiot of the village. Idiot of the village. I the idiot, the, the like idiot of the village who let claimed that you. the let, one who the you. one who claimed let that he speak you. Arabic, the one who claimed he speak let Arabic, and he don't. You. Is that, is that correct? Uh, see, as, is soon as, as soon as you start, as soon as you start, you do this so you can block me. <laughs> no, no, I'm not no blocking you. But is it true? true? Okay, students, hold on. Hold on. Is, it, is, it true? Is, is, is it true that you claim that you speak Arabic but you don't? Or I'm lying? I told you I don't. At least I'm honest. No, We're you said you you said you know Arabic. You said we have a I recording. We have tons of them. I told you. Yes, yes. I told you that I don't know. That's why you blocked me. Why you say you speak Arabic? What do you mean I told you? When the last time you blocked me. So why the one you, why I the said, one be, be why honest. the one before it you said you speak Arabic? Let's let's go to the discussion. No, no, no. why the let's, one before it and the, the one discussion. before your it and students, the one before it and the one before, students, it, and the one before it and the one before it, you claim that you know Arabic. Students, listen, coward, listen, listen, you okay. coward, <laughs> listen, you hypocrite. You wanted to debate me, challenge. Okay, go challenge. ahead. I accept your offer. Okay, you just mentioned the word hypocrite. You are you are the biggest hypocrite of them all. You just okay. said that I, I want you I, I want you right? I want you to give yes, me Yes or no? Yes what? or no? What? You just said that Nabi alayhi salam said to fight the disbelievers until they accept Islam. Yes or no? Yes. I will show you numerous of hadith you coward that you're lying. Well, I have a one in the front of you in the screen read it. All right, low well, hold on coward. Guys, listen, watch the idiot block me when I refute him. Uh-huh. You coward, you don't know who you're messing with. I will spank the floor with you. Sure, sure. Yeah, watch you block me. Okay, okay. That's why your students told me to like, Just read the hadith, uh, potato. Just, just read, read stop, read stop calling names. Read the screen, it's in front of you. Yeah, I will read it right now, you coward. I will make a joke out of you. <laughs> okay. You coward. Shameless fire, you idiot. I'm listening. Hold on, let me load it. It's loading because you're on Rumble. Just let it load and I'll read it. Ah. Watch, I get blocked. Watch, guys, watch. I'm gonna get blocked. Listen, watch. shut up, potato. I get, you know, you are like, you are like a chihuahua. I keep barking, and you think you are a lion. You are just a chihuahua. Just read it, man. Yeah, you coward. Chihuahua. Oh yes, yes, yes. From Bukhari and Muslim, this is authentic. Chihuahua. Without doubt, this is authentic. Okay, without doubt, good. Without doubt. Okay, read it then. Okay, okay. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, "I've been commanded to fight people till they testify, La ilaha illallah. There is no true God except Allah. That Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a slave and messenger. And they establish salah and zakat, and they do this." Their blood, life, and property is secure, except is justified by law, and it is for Allah to call them to account. Can I explain it? Do you need to explain this one? Even this one in the explanation? Yeah, I'll explain it. Well, why do you need to explain it? It says clearly, I've been commanded to I, kill I all mankind. Explain it. I, let me speak. I'll, I'll, I'll explain it. Okay, explain it. Go ahead. Okay, there's Muslim countries back then and even now, even now. Where people go, there is Muslim country. At, at, go, hold on, hold on. People, there was Muslim. No, no, you cannot. Can there is Muslim countries back then. Where? And then and now. I'm trying to explain. No, 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 no. Let okay, no, no. Stop with there. Then, where? What Muslim was Muslim country back then? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia at that time was a Muslim country. Obviously, it was Nabi Ali Salam. Is so he's going to fight who? So you're, that's what I'm trying to you. You idiot, you idiot, you idiot, you idiot, you idiot, you're a prophet. He never have a war outside of the Arabian Peninsula. You are a donkey. So uh, that's uh, why I'll refute you. Just shut you're up, lying. shut up. You're lying. So you're a prophet, you're a prophet. Even when he wanted to invade uh, Tabuk, he could not even do it. He could not arrive there. So you're he, a liar. You're listen, a listen, liar. potato. I've been commanded to kill all mankind until what is the reason to fight them and kill them? It doesn't say all mankind. It says it says a nasa jamian, nasa jamian, or to an no, Don't fool with the Arabic. Don't fool. Don't fool. Why you don't know Arabic? Arabic? Let me refute you. Why won't you let me finish my the, sentence? The, uh, because you're scared. Do you know Arabic or you don't? I don't. But okay. You're lying. So how, you're you, how why you are saying to me don't go to the Arabic? 
What's wrong yeah, with because, our... Because I don't understand it, and I know you're lying. Ah, uh, is that my fault that you are an idiot? It's how, not... How oh, you, how so you pray, how you, how you pray to Allah... Arabic. How you, guys, he's calling you guys... They don't have to, they are not Muslims, you are the Muslims, so you pray to Allah in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic. Okay, I pray to Allah in Arabic. Allah says to pray Salah, Hakimu Salah. Ah, Allah okay. wa ta'ala doesn't say to understand the idiot. Ah, Allah says to learn it with the dream. He did idiot. not command you to understand it. He, 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 he commanded you to say it, not to understand it, idiot. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That, that's the rules. That's not you. Let me finish. So what you I are saying to me, the idiot is the one, the idiot is the one who followed the teaching of Allah, which is saying, you say Arabic word, but you do not need to understand it. And you call me idiot. You can if you want. If you want to understand it and make your knowledge. Ah, if you want. Ah, purpose. okay. It's, it's, not, it is an option. It's an option. So how, how, how a Muslim, he pray to Allah, but he do not know what he's saying. He he can learn he can learn that he can know the recitation learn the Quran with the Jreed like I can speak it with the Jreed if uh, I don't know the understanding whose fault is that it's mine ah uh, okay <laughs> it's my fault if I don't learn there's many Muslims that know they know understand. okay okay there's many Arabs so that know. so now listen so now your prophet he says I've been commanded to kill all mankind he said the Nas Jamian all the people. So yeah. all the you. all let the people all let the me people. Let me refute you. Uh -huh. I will show you several ahadith where the Prophet said, if you harm a non-Muslim, if you harm a non-Muslim, you won't smell the fragrance of paradise. You're a coward and you're a pathetic liar. You are a potato. If, any, if, you, if, if you harm potato, exactly, you the one who is, shut up, son of Muta, Chihuahua, the one who paid jizya. If you harm, if you harm someone who paid jizya because he is paying for protection no, and he is making them, that. yes, yes, the one who is paying jizya. Okay, are you saying, are you saying, okay, okay, let us, let us examine what you just, let us examine what you just said. Chapter 9, verse number 29, it says... That's about war. That's it's, about war. This is all, this is the same. That's about war. No. Okay, okay hold on. Thing, okay, thing. hold on. Okay. When your prophet says, I've been commanded to kill people, you said the people of Saudi Arabia, right? Uh, you, no. You said what Muslim country was there. Don't throw words. You know, I'm out. asking you, okay, when Muhammad, he says, I've been commanded to kill the people, which people he want to kill until they convert Those? to Islam? Who? Those people uh -huh. he commanded to kill uh -huh. when they live in a Muslim land uh -huh. and they attack the Muslim people. Uh, how they not live? all the disbelievers. Okay. That's what the okay. Says. Well, I was let us go. Let us go to the Quran. Okay. Let us go to the Quran and check if this is true or not. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. Here we go. Here, is chapter eight, verse number thirty-nine. It's talking go ahead, about go chapter eight. It's talking. It's talking. About, it's talking about what? Open it. It's open already. So the page has to refresh. Hmm. You can open from your side. Do I you need to wait for the video here? Okay. 839? Mm-hmm. All right. One second. Hold on. Just give me a minute. All right. Pathetic liar. Please respect your prophet. Uh, chapter 8, verse 39, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's open it. Mm -hmm. You can read my screen if you if it's open. That's why I'm saying it's not it's not it's not opening. I'll open it from my side. If you give me one minute, just mm. give me sixty seconds. Let me all. give you the link to you open it from your side. You are an idiot. You do not know how to open a verse. Always I give you a verse, you open the wrong one. So let me give you this one. Here we go. Open this link. Potato. <clears throat> Did you open the link? I'm opening it from my side. Just give me one minute. Why is taking you forever, one Chihuahua? Minute. <clears throat> okay, here it is, eight, 
uh, you said 839. <laughs> yeah. Let me read it for you. Okay. And oh, find no, no, them. No, I shut it. up. I got it here. You, you, got you it. can read? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Here it is. Okay. So chapter 839. Uh -huh. Okay. So let me read it first and then I'll give you the answer. Okay, so what this is saying now, guys, you are asking me what it says. I'm waiting for you for the last 10 minutes yeah, to read the stupid verse. Strive until they are not persecuted or driven away or continuously attacked. Until where, they where is the word? Where religion. is the word persecution? Where is the word? Where we don't see it? I'm giving you from the scholars of Islam. That's false. It doesn't say that. It says, no, no, no. You're, you're, fight, you're them, a liar. fight them until there is no temptation, no disbelief. So, and everybody become Muslim. And here it says in the front of you, until the whole world worshiping Allah alone, the whole world, it's in front of you. Potato. Let's open what Ibn Abbas is saying. What Ibn Abbas? Okay, we will open it. Read this one first, uh, you know, and then read Ibn Abbas. We'll go to Ibn Abbas. No worry. Anyone, anyone can take a, a, a verse out of context. Uh, uh, listen, okay, Mr. 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 Ibn Abbas. Okay, Mr. Ibn Abbas. Uh, can you please read for me first here what it says in the screen, Mr. Ibn Abbas? I read it. I, I read it. I read okay, it. Okay, what it says. Okay, what it, okay, what it says, what it says. The tafsir. <laughs> <laughs> you see why I hang up on you? You are just a stupid kid. You are, scared. You are a chihuahua. You are a chihuahua. I got you, you busted. Scared. I got, you know, you got so excited and you know, coward. And, and then you did not even take for me even 60 seconds. You are done. No, what do you mean I'm done? I'm should I, done. Should, I, should, I should, should I put ketchup on you now? What I would do? Like you are, you are, you are cooked? You're, I'm cooked. You're okay, it says in the front lying. of you. Here we you go. I'm, I am showing the. I'm You're showing your. Page. I'm showing let your Muslim show. website. Your Muslim translation. It says, "Fight them until they there's no disbelief in polytheism, i.e., worship for other beside Allah, and all and the religion worship will be for Allah alone in the whole world." You said to me, "This is not for. This is for the one who is fighting the Prophet, Abdul." When you will become a man. Are you like? Is that going to happen ever? What? What to 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 be covered? To, 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 to be like you? Follow your false religion? You're disgusting faith. <laughs> Uh, who is the disgusting faith? Is that the prophet who go to his son and he flirt with the wife when she she is alone? Oh, I wish you would open the tafsir. I challenge you. You're not a man. Uh -huh. So if I show, I wish you so open that tafsir. The, uh, what what tafsir? That the what whatever you're talking about to prove what you just said. Are you sure not paid by a Christian prince? Open that. Open listen, where listen. It says that he flirted with the son's wife. Open that. Yeah, you want to change topic now? Okay, let's go. Let's go there. <laughs> open it and watch you get exposed. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> let's let's see. Watch, guys. Watch. Watch, watch. Watch what's gonna happen. Watch what will happen to the Chihuahua. <laughs> All right, so let us go here uh, to uh, Tafsir. He is asking for Tafsir, so we have to give him some Tafsir, no problem. Oh, we'll give you the link so you can open it from your side. No, no, put it on your screen. I will put it on the screen too. Don't worry. Oh, we have to put it on the screen so people will die laughing. Yeah, die laughing at you. How much of a hypocritic coward uh -huh. you are. Uh -huh. You dare, you don't dare to debate Muhammad Hijab. He made a joke out of you. I called him, he hung up on me, the coward, son of Muta. Yeah, you were talking about inshallah. You were talking about inshallah. They were fed up with you. Uh huh. No, no, I was saying to him, he said to me, yeah. you said the breast Why don't you I... challenge Sheikh Uthman? You're a coward. <laughs> You're a coward. <laughs> I just made the video. A too. I just made the video ten days ago saying Uthman and the other guys sneak with him, but they are coward. They don't. They don't dare. <laughs> Okay, I want you to read this for me. Go ahead. What you, is it? you said you said that uh, 
uh, let us see here. What tafsir is it? Give me the Just tafsir. Uh, hold on, hold on, you know, hold on. What tafsir? It's very good tafsir. Do you even know how to pronounce it? You don't know. So just uh, have a patient. All right. Oh, have a patient. So when I when I'm doing something, I can't I can't take my time, but you can. Wow. Well, what you can? You know, you, it took you 15 minutes to read this verse, and you could not read it until now. You did not. So here, this is Tafsir Al Qurtubi, and I will okay. I will put it in the Post screen. It. Post I will it. I will put it in the screen. Here we go. Al Qurtubi. All right. It says here that your prophet. If his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can if her. Post it on the screen. It's in the screen. It's not. It says verse 39. Okay, it's going to show up for you. Here it says, number 10, the privilege of Muhammad. All of them are about sex. إذا وقع بصره على امرأة وجب على زوجها طلاقها شط up شط up and وحل وحل له نكاحها if his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her so the prophet can f her استغفر الله it's in the front of you here we go I will post it in English استغفر الله استغفر الله do what استغفر الله mean you don't know Arabic you must be speaking Arabic now Astaghfirullah, <laughs> you hypocritic coward, you filthy liar. All right, here we go. Uh, we will translate to English in front of everybody. And people will die laughing. Let us see how to translate this. This is Google. No, this is Opera. Hold on, let me open it in Google. We need Google browser. Okay, can give us a second. All right, we will open it in Google browser. And you guys, you saw how he changed the topic. He said, "It's you. It's you who said wife. open it. You stupid. Third it's you. I am the one who said. said I am the one. You are changing the topic. He said, show it, show it. I said, you are changing the yes. topic. You said, you show said it. You said it was Zainab. This is not regarding Zainab. This is about Zainab, you idiot. And Zainab, an old woman, not only Zainab. You're a prophet. He was. He have a privilege, and the privilege is about sex. All of them." No, 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 it's not. Okay. You're talking about 3350. No, it's not. Oh, no. here we go. He okay. said that, that you don't have to give the dowry. Shut up. That he's the only one that doesn't have no. to give the dowry. Don't no. lie. You're go. a liar. Okay, let's see here. Read with me. Do you see the screen now? This the, You just said that you're Tafsir al Qurtubi. Now you're going to a hadith. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> uh, if I show you a hadith that even will be more powerful than the tafsir, you idiot. So you're, you think that hadith is less powerful than tafsir? Anyway, no, listen. No, you're jumping all over the place. Uh, okay. Show so, where it says that. So listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Here we go. It says here if the Prophet, number 10, if he sees a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can if her. Where where does it say that? It's in front of you. The religion of the scroll Chihuahua. Down. Scroll down. Okay, scroll down. Okay, and scroll down. And okay, go down. And where? And, and the where? Wait, like to the end? To the end? You want? Where? Go down a little more. Go down so I can read more. Go down. You are so fast in reading. Okay. And. Go down. You're not scrolling. Where to the end of the page? Here we go. We are. We are at the end of the page. This is the last line on the page. I'm reading a four it says fourteen and then it says it is not slow. Hold on, go up, go up, go up. Don't do <laughs> go up. You're going too fast. Hold so on. listen, listen. Does it say that if the uh, this number ten privilege number ten they are counting they are counting the privilege of your prophet? He can have sex with more than four privilege. He can go up so I can he read can... it. Go up so I can read it. Show the audience. Go up. 
I can give you the link. Here we go. Open the link on your side. And no, you, you have to read the whole tafsir. I no problem. Here go. Okay, uh, open it and read it all from your side. Here we go. Potato. Sorry. Hold Stop on. your hold drama. On. You know. Hold on. I will. I okay. Will. You will. Are you sure? Yes. Hold on. Okay. You gave me the whole thing, right? <laughs> okay. I gave, I gave you the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, hold on. You didn't. <laughs> Which one is it? Is it the, the the one with the book or the one online? But the one with the book with the one with you line. You sent two of them, you idiot. You didn't send one. I send you one. The one before it, that one before it, potato. This is the... Uh, now I am sending you the Arabic Quran, Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, the second one. How can I translate this in English? It's in Arabic. Use Google Translation, the same as I did, potato. Chihuahua. So you're a prophet, if he go to visit you, and he like your no, wife... No, no, this isn't true. This isn't true. That's why I'm saying, show me the English translation. I'm showing you the English translation. Oh, let me go back to your screen. Use Google Translation in your, in your computer. People that are listening, if you like to hear a lot of Chihuahua, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. They call me to, they call me, they call me to curse coward. me, and then they got busted in the speed of light. Busted? Well, you're just reading one part of the tafsir. That's not. I don't care. One part, saying. two part. What part? Your prophet, he see your wife private part, and now he wanna jump on her, even if she is married. That's and not you, true. And you That's are, not and true. you as a Muslim, you become a pimp with two horn in your head. That's you are not a pimp. True. That's you not are. True. It's in the front of you. You are a pimp. You have to read the whole thing. Read the whole thing. I don't care. It says number ten. What whole thing? The privilege number ten. If he sees, if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can if her. Ha! Look how he got exposed. What a filthy liar. The Christian missionaries like to lie that the prophet, peace be upon him, said this. As for speaking, where it says that if the prophet's <laughs> eyes lies on a woman, this is shameless people. The, the disbelievers say this. You coward. Well, hold on, hold on. Where, where, where the disbeliever? Where it says the disbeliever says it that. Says the disbeliever. Where, say where, where, where it says where it says that? Where we are? Open it. Open it's in the front of me. Okay, show me where it says the disbelievers. They say that. So it says the disbelievers say that. Guys, the disbelievers. Okay, say show that. me. Okay, give me a, give me a, you know, guys. It says the disbelievers says that. Where we can find in the page. It says I'll, it right on the screen. Just scroll I'll, down. I will, I will with, move. Bear with me and I'll show you. Okay, where, where? I showed it on my side. Okay, where? Just to tell me to stop. You say I'm moving so slow. Tell me to stop. Let the, let them let the, the the thing load. Uh -huh. Right now it says if he sees a woman, her husband. Now go down. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go down. Uh huh. Al Arabi said you're not going down. Okay, now go down slowly, and I'll show you where it says that. Uh huh. Keep going, and I'll tell you when to stop. Mm hmm. Go go go. Go slowly. Go. So look, look how stupid you are. The disbeliever, they say that. Shouldn't that it says that before they say that? So it says after they go. say that. <laughs> so he is. Look, look how stupid he is. If you want to try to to play game, you should say that the word disbeliever says that it's have to happen before, not after. And here we go in the whole page. There's nothing about the disbelievers. It's about your prophet. He have a privilege. Where are we go going? Down. I'll show you. Okay, Keep I'm going, going down. Where? Here we go. It's almost the end of the page. Where? No, it's not. Keep going. The moon split open for. Now keep going. Okay. The and moon. I'll show the you moon. Where it says that. The moon. Keep going more. Keep going, coward. That's the end of the page. No, there's more to it. There. See, you're, look how you're lying. This is the end, of the, end page. of the page. <laughs> there's a whole chapter. This is the end of the page, you idiot. <laughs> This is the end of the page. Stop subscribe, go interpretation. Up, go, up, go, up, go up, go up, go up. <laughs> oh, boy. Up. I got to breathe from laughing. So go up or go down? Up. 
you went down too fast. I said, go up. Uh, <laughs> Be honest. Are you are you paid by somebody to make fun of Muhammad? No, I love my prophet. I mean, I, I'd expose cowards. Okay, okay. But, but where we can find this one? It says disbelievers. They said right. You you go. You went to the bottom. You won't show it. You you scroll through. Where where? Go are, up slowly. Go up slowly. I went up. I went down so slowly. How come you did not stop me? Here we go. I'm going up slowly now. Go up. Okay. Go up. I'm going up. Did you find it anywhere? Did you watch the Pink Panther? Taram. Taram. Right, stop. 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 Okay. You find it? Stop. Where? Stop. Where? Stop. I told you to stop. You passed it. You're purposely passing <laughs> the part where it says that. Where? Where? You're purposely doing this. I told you to stop. Okay. Okay. Where? Where? Here we go. I, I went go up again. Go down. And down. Go down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's doing this on purpose, guys. Look at him. He's purposely doing this. He's purposely doing this. Go, you son of Mutta. Don't call me, you faggot. Don't waste my time. And don't tell your students to call me again. You're a hypocritical liar. Fuck you. That's it? <laughs> go up, go down, go up, go down. It, it, there is nothing up and down. It says the, the, they are counting the privilege of a prophet Muhammad. Who is the one counting the privilege? The Muslims. Read it. I mean, the. It, what a hilarious and they are filthy they like their chihuahua you know let me give you the link guys so all of you let me shorten the link i have to shorten it so you can uh i don't know if actually let us see maybe in trump uh, rumble is different from uh, google let us see <clears throat> do you see the link or it doesn't show do the link come to you do you see the link or no I just posted the link. Do you see it? No? Okay, I have to shorten it then. Let me shorten it. Link. All right. <clears throat> okay, let us see now. Do you see it now? Click on it, please. All right. So click on it and open the link with Google Browser. Be sure to open it with Google Browser. And then maybe the best way to search in English, type her husband. Her husband or must divorce her. You know how to search a browser, right? You click at your computer, letter C, and then the, the letter F. Like if you have Mac, actually, you click at Command and F. So you can choose any word to search, like you can, you know, type must divorce her or her husband. <clears throat> it takes about disbelievers in 18. You know, no, no, but those are privilege of Muhammad. What what the disbelievers say is not them who speak about the privilege. They are speaking, they are making fun of his privilege. So here you will see, this is about Muhammad privilege. As far as was a principle for him, may Allah pray, pray on him, upon him. The first, you see, this is the Muslim talking. The first is the best of the sport. The second is etc. The... Uh, 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 the the fifth the third uh, connection with the fourth 
uh, you know, uh, uh, for women. The fifth is marriage without pain. The sixth is marriage without guardian. The seventh is marriage without dowry. The eighth is marrying while he is in ihram. The ninth, the ninth is the oath between the spouse. He can, you know, uh, he can, uh, he can change between them. Uh, and the tenth is if he see a woman. So this is about his privilege. This is not the disbeliever saying that. And you can read it yourself. This is why it says, it was as for what was permissible for him. Who's talking? The Muslims. They are talking about what is a permissible for him. Who is talking? Not the disbelievers. They said that the seer. Those are the Muslims speaking about what the privilege of Muhammad. And they are speaking about Zainab. And they are repeating here again, what is a privilege he have? So he have many privilege. Do you see them? Those are not the disbeliever as this potato he is saying. <clears throat> If you search for the word disbelieve or disbelievers, <clears throat> let us do it. You will find this. It's all the way at the end. <clears throat> Meaning, he will return you from disbelievers. This is a tra false translation from disbelieve. So, this is explaining the meaning. This is not the disbeliever speaking. <laughs> the whole verses here, the whole chapter is explaining what is the privilege of Muhammad. And nowhere it says the disbelievers, they say it. Do you see it? Here in this one, here, in this part he says, with exception of the believers, mean that the disbelievers, even if they addressed by the branches of Sharia. So here, this is not about the disbelievers, they say. They are explaining what you should do to the disbelievers. <laughs> so if you search the page, you will find two times the word disbelieve appear in the page, and one time is appearing here in the side of the, in the search engine, which is not really here, like, you know, in the, in the corner. This is, like, this is an article. You see it? What a big fat, you know, fat potato chihuahua. Nowhere here speaking that the disbelievers they say. And you have the page already. And number 10, they are describing privilege number 10. Her husband must divorce her. This is privilege number 10. This is not the disbelievers telling us what is the privilege of Muhammad. This is the book of Al-Qurtubi. And this is the Quran. And because he knew that this is what it says, he have to speak filthy language and handcuff. For nowhere what he is saying is saying. Chihuahua. Do we have any brave Muhammadan? <clears throat> and here you know right away that Muhammad is nothing but a scumbag. All cult leaders, they want three things. Remember them. And they are connected to each other. Sex, money, power. Which means authority. All cult leaders, doesn't matter what, what, uh, what religion they belong to. Yes, Abdul. Chihuahua. All right, guys. Listen, audience. Chihuahua. Look at the liar. Look at a 14, Tafsir al-Qurtubi 14-190, guys. Remember, look it up from your side. 
Tafsir al qurtubi 14-190. It says the disbeliever said this. He's lying to you guys. Wait, okay, read, read it for us. It okay, up. listen, listen. Okay, read it for us. It no, no, read it for us. Okay, give, give me give me a screenshot in your Skype. Oh, but uh, share, share your screen. Share your screen in Skype. Sure. Okay. What a filthy liar. Uh, share, your, share your screen. Let's read it. I'll screenshot it to you when you open it. No, share your screen. I want to share. Uh, share, it. share your screen. I want to see your screen. Show, show me the browser in your screen. I want to show them the whole browser. Be brave. Nope. How hmm. do you do it? Click at uh, you know in Skype here in the three dots. There's an option that says share, share your screen. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Share screen. Uh huh. There's a three dots in the corner of this call. Click at share screen. Okay. Okay, then where? Just to click share screen, that's it. I did. Now it says screen broadcast, Skype, and start broadcasts. Okay. Which one? What? It says screen broadcast, and it says start broadcast. Where do I go? Screen. It's not working from my side. I'll send you the screenshot and show them. Mm, I'll send you the screenshot. It's not working. No, it's working. I will send you the screenshot. It's working. Okay, if you want to send me, send me a screenshot, send me a screenshot for the whole page. Highlight, highlight where it says what you are saying, like the same as I'm doing right now. Highlight it with your with your uh, uh, you know mouse. And then take a screenshot. Well, I gave you the number, so open it. I gave you the number. Just show me the screenshot, you stupid liar. There we go. Mm. There we go. Mm. What? Here we go. Nothing. Nothing show up yet. Hold on. Mm. Since when you are a gay? All right, I sent it. Now show the audience. Since when you are a gay? Show it. Okay, where it says what you are saying. Go ahead. Show it. Here we go. Show it on your screen. Okay, I'm showing it on your screen. What what is, what this is saying? Go ahead. Where do you want me to read? Okay, hold on. Let me go to Rumble. Uh huh. Go to your screen so this can post up and the people will read for themselves. Uh huh. <clears throat> we are waiting i sent you the screenshot posted. okay oh, i'm waiting where where in the screenshot it says what you are saying i don't see it okay okay go go down down where it says what is meant by the words go down where okay right there on the screenshot where it says okay. what is meant by okay. the words you did fear the people referred to his concern about the propaganda of the hypocrite, suggesting that he had forbidden marrying sons, wives, but he married the wife of his son. Okay. You just confirmed that your prophet is a pervert. So no, go down right there. Okay. Down. And what, what, read down where? As for the reports, which says that the prophet like Zainab right there. As for the reports right uh -huh, there. Uh -huh. As for the reports, scroll down so people can see. Okay, okay, it's, I'm there, read it. Continue reading. Okay, as for the reports, uh -huh. which says that the prophet peace and blessings be upon him like Zainab, uh -huh. the wife of Zaid, and some immoral people even use the word fell in love. This comes from one who is ignorant of the infallibility of the prophet, who was protected against such things, or from the one who has no respect for him. You're okay. destroyed. You so, are destroyed. Okay, hold on. You so you're a prophet. You're destroyed. Okay, hold you on. Oh, listen, listen. Everybody, everybody is my witness. You said 
that the disbeliever they say that the prophet yeah. hold on everybody is looking yeah. at you yeah, right. I, no, I, no hold on hold on no 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 here it says that the prophet he fell in love with her the prophet did not fell in love with her he have lost he want to f her he did not love any woman no Your no prophet, oh listen 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 <laughs> privilege number 10 where in this page where where in this page it says what it says here that the women if his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her so the prophet can if her. This it is a this is the where it says it right there. Look at the screen. Where where? Give it, okay, I'm going You've up. You've been exposed. Okay, where You've where 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 it says where it says where it says that where it says that where it says that. You coward! Why you hang up? And this is, was an opinion, and this is not about the privilege. The privilege of your prophet is counted by al Qur to be approved by all Muslims. As for what is per permissible for him, there are 16 total privilege. Do you see it? There is 16 total. Those are not the statement from the disbelievers. And the one who says he fell in love with her, this person is an ignorant. So he want to have her for what reason? For sure he don't have love her for her. Muhammad have many women already. He just want to if the women. He is a horny bastard. And now they are counting the privilege of Muhammad. As you see, it says they are respecting the person Muhammad. May Allah pray and peace on him. So who is talking to this believer? They say may Allah peace and uh, mercy on him. And they start counting the privilege. And you are a potato. What you showed me, you idiot, is about a person he said he fell in love with her. But this person is ignorant. He's not in love with her. He love Aisha only. <laughs> same time, this is not even the same page. Uh, If I type the word love in the page here, I find zero word. Do you see it? I just type the word love. This is not what we are reading. You type the word love, you click enter. Without enter, actually, it's going to show you right away. If we type the word heart, let us see. One of seven. Listen carefully. One of seven. Hearts, it's in the side. First one is in the search engine. It's not in the article. Second is in not in the art. And third is not in the article. Okay, now here we find it. <clears throat> uh, the Honorable believe that the, the returning of an act of transgression disgraced the donor, blah, blah, blah. This is not what we are looking for. And the word heart is at the end appear again. <clears throat> it says here. Uh, this is we have explained this. This statement explained this explanation so that you will have any difficulty. <laughs> that was a stupid thing. It's related to saying we have made lawful for you, your wives. <laughs> The Muslims explaining that Allah made to Muhammad. He said, we made lawful for you, your wives. Now we made them lawful. They are already, he's, he's, he's doing boom, boom to them. Have you ever heard such a stupid statement? This God of Muhammad, he's telling Muhammad, we made your wives for you lawful. So the guy already having them in the bed, their legs is open and they have no panties. And now he is telling them, He's telling Muhammad, we made your wives love over you. Like, don't you think it's too late? You send him a verse saying to him, we made your wives lawful for you. After he didn't sleep with them? The guy is doing boom, boom with them for the last 10 years. And now you are telling him, your wives is lawful for you. We made them lawful. So as you see here, there's no heart, there's no love, there's nothing. What he is reading here, this is a different story. This is a different page. 
you have the page I give it to you. You use Google Translation. In fact, it says it clearly. Here we go. If I go right now, <clears throat> if I open it in Arabic again, let me do this. The Quran translation interpretation says clearly that he have lost lost. Let us show you. <clears throat> He said, he showed us which page. It's still in his uh, in his uh, Skype. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, fourteen ninety. Wonderful. Fourteen ninety. <clears throat> Give me a second. I will open the same page, 1490. And you will see the disaster. Uh, for some reason, Oprah is not opening. Let us see here. <clears throat> All right. Guys, this is the page he just sent me. Look at the disaster he just gave us. I will give you the link too. And you will die laughing. The translation there obviously is a false translation and the one he said us, the one about ignorant. Let me show you what it says here. But let me first give you a short link so you can open it from your side and look what he just did to his prophet. All right, uh, let us see. Open this link, please. And do the same as I do. Click in the side and translate to English. Be, be sure to, uh, to open it in Google Translation, Google Browser. <clears throat> Remember the page he showed us, it says that the one who says the prophet fell in love with her, he is ignorant. Correct? This is what it says. And he said, this is page, uh, this is uh, value number 14, page one, number 190. Read it. You see it? This is page, this is value number 14, page number 190. And this is the one he said us, here, 14, 190, 191. Do you see it? Okay. You will see here, it says that Muhammad, he have lost, lost, not Fahawiha. God, he sent wind, and the wind lifted the curtain. So the curtain showed Zainab naked. This is what it's talking about. And he saw Zainab and he fell, not sold, this is false translation. He have lost for her. Fahawiha. And the Prophet, he said, Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. Do you see? This is the same, the stupid he was trying to show me that the prophet did not do that. But the same page explained what happened. 
he went to his own son's house. He went to the house of Zaid. And she mentioned, the wife, she mentioned that to the husband. She said to him, you're a prophet. Read carefully. Let us read from the beginning. Then one day, the prophet, peace, police be upon him, he came to Zaid asking for him. And he saw Zainab standing. She was white and beautiful. Uh, by the way, it doesn't say that. It says she was white and big and beautiful. And Zainab was standing. She was white and big and beautiful. Not powerful, big, not powerful. The translation is false. And one, one of the most perfect women of Quraysh, because the Arab at that time, the more the women she is big in size, we don't want to use the word fat, but this is how it is. The more she is sexy. Uh, here it says he kissed her, but this is not a true. You see, you see how honest we are, Abdul? Here it says he kissed her. This is not really what it says. We don't, we don't, uh, uh, we don't use the false translation to, you know, to uh, uh, to make to make uh, to make a point. Here it says Fahawiha. He have lost for her, not kissed her. And he said, "Glory to Allah, the one who flipped my heart." So now he want her. And Zainab, she told her husband about how when Zaid he came, she told him, your father was here, and she mentioned to Zaid. In Arabic, it says, Fafatina Zaid. Zaid now become aware. Look at this. He become what? People, do you see it? Zaid now become aware that obviously the scumbag Muhammad is sleeping with his wife. She told him, your father was here, and he said that he liked me a lot. He want me. Zaid, become aware. Obviously, they are sleeping together. And he is the donkey who have no idea what's going on. Right away, he went to Muhammad, and he said, I want to divorce her. He said to him, she have a bad tongue. She bad mouthed me. But you will notice, Zaid never complained about divorcing his wife until his wife, she told him that Muhammad, he, your father was here and went asleep with me. In fact, obviously they are sleeping together. Imagine you come home, you find your wife saying to you, your father, by the way, he liked me a lot and she's not upset. See, she is not saying like, your God is disgusting, filthy, don't let him into, no. She is telling him and she is happy. So Zaid become aware that the Chihuahua Muhammad is sleeping with his wife. Is it obvious? And look at the Muslim interpretation and explanation. Z Zainab, she was white. Oof, that's deep. She was white. How Muhammad he will not have desire to have sex with her? She's a white woman. Beautiful. Perfect. Big and beautiful. The most perfect women of Quraysh. Now we know what's happening. The Chihuahua Muhammad, he could not believe it, that he left such a beautiful, sexy bones in the mouth of Zaid. He want to take a bite. He want to have the whole bones. And the guy, he was saying to us, this is ignorant. Do you see it says here ignorant? Muqatil is one of the companions of Muhammad. This is not the enemy of Allah. The word fighter, this is the name of the person. His name is Muqatil, which means fighter. He said the following story. Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. This is her name. Her last name is donkey. And by the way, Muhammad's last name is Kilab, which means dogs. So Zainab, the daughter of the donkey, Muhammad, the son of Kilab, which means the son of dogs, they feel they have relationship together. 
And this guy, he tried to prove to us that we are wrong. See? Imagine your wife, she, you know, you come home, you tell her, you, she tell you, your, your dad, he was here, he was flirting with me, by the way, and she is so happy for that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Muhammad, now he become a ruler. Why she want to stay with the, somebody he's no one? Which one is more important? To be the wife of the one who became their king or the one who is nobody? This is Muqatil, the companion of Muhammad, reporting the story about how Muhammad have lost to a married woman and he flirted with her and there is no way they're just a flirting. There is no way. You know, a good woman, if somebody, it doesn't matter who. Let us say your friend come to you when you are not home. Your wife, she opened the door. Do you think a good woman, she will not expose such a filthy visitor? She will not be upset that even her husband, he allows such a man to come to her house again. A good woman, she will kick the man Muhammad out of the house. She will beat him with her sandals. But obviously she is a trashy woman like Muhammad. As the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And again, this is the same page he showed us. He said to us that the one who said that the prophet he loved her is ignorant. Look what it says. And he is the one who said that I see Ibn Abbas. Read carefully. Ibn Abbas said, Who? <laughs> Ibn Abbas said, And you hide within you your love to her? <laughs> but in the page he sent us, He's trying to convince us that the ignorant is the one who say that. But this is Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas is the best of the best to, inter to give interpretation. And this is a companion of Muhammad. And he is the cousin of Muhammad. Do you see it? In fact, this is in the Quran. So how the ignorant is the one who think he is feeling in love with her? The Quran says so. Anyway, today we have a very good time, and we have how we have how many Muslims they left Islam? What a wonderful night! Where is the Skype? Hold on. Uh, he's calling again. <laughs> hey, Chihuahua, how are you doing? Hello? Choo-choo. <laughs> he hang up. <laughs> Let me call him again, just for the sake of entertainment. Do you see my screen, Chihuahua? Yes, you put the wrong page, you put you put wrong interpretations. And when you said Ibn Abbas said this, Ibn Abbas did not say the part what I was replying to. What I was replying to no, read is it. what the ignorant read people, it. Read well, it. you didn't scroll down. Read you it. Did not scroll okay, down. okay, read it. Does it say Ibn Abbas said that? That That's a different story. That's what different the story? Thing. There's only one woman, her name is Zainab. How many stories? No. Okay, no, no, no. Did Ibn Abbas, shut up. Did Ibn Abbas, and this is Quran, you eat it. The Quran says that not only Ibn Abbas, it's in the Quran. Yes, obviously it's in the Quran, but he's saying, why did so, you hide yourself? Okay, no, you said that the one who says the Prophet he loved her is ignorant. That's when people lied about the Prophet. That was hold on, but criteria. the Quran says the Prophet was, he loved her. No, 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 no. That's what okay. you said. That okay, you hold on, let us, let us go to the Quran, can we? Go ahead. All right, here we go. We go to the Quran. You know how to read? Okay. <clears throat> oh. 
open the verse and read it for us. I'm putting it in the screen. Read it. <clears throat> Are you there? I'm waiting for it to load. Hmm. What translation you like to read? Anyone, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Very good. <clears throat> it's now give me the ayat so I can pull it from my side. It's chapter right. 33, verse number 37. <laughs> you do not know what chapter, chapter you stupid, you do not know until now what verse we are talking about. I mean, how stupid you are. So you are arguing with me all this time about one verse in the Quran. Be my witness, people. This guy do not know what verse we are talking about. I did not say that. No, you just said it. You said, give me give me what verse you are talking about. Yes. But I this is the verse, verse we are talking about, about for before. the last hour. This is the verse we are talking about. This is the interpretation for this verse. No problem. No hmm. problem. <laughs> yes, okay. And I'll read it right now. Hmm. What is in the heart of Muhammad? Remember when O Prophet, peace be upon him, were saying to the one who was favored by Allah and favored by you, keep your wife to yourself and fear Allah. And you were concealing in your heart what Allah was going to reveal, and you were fearing people while Allah is more entitled to be feared by you. Hmm. So when Zayd finished his desire for her, we gave her into your marriage so that there may not be a problem for the believers in marrying wives to their adopted sons hmm. when they finish their desire to them and Allah's decree had to be enforced you just exposed yourself okay what is in the heart of Muhammad and it's not in the heart of Muhammad to where it to, is to, to marry Zainab what it's saying is Allah commanded him Allah commanded him hmm. to marry Zainab so that people know that your adopted son okay. is not your real son. Okay. It doesn't say in this verse that he went to his house and he was flirting with okay. him. Let's, let us you see. Lie. Let us see what is in the heart of Muhammad. Here we go. Shut up. This is shut up, son of Muhammad. Shut up. Shut up. This is Ibn Abbas. This is filthy mouth. Listen, this is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Prophet. He was there. He says, Ibn Abbas says, and you hide within yourself your love to her. Do you see it? You hide within yourself your love to her. Yeah. Meaning, Meaning. when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him <laughs> to marry her, when Allah commanded him. Hold on. When Allah what commanded, commanded him? him? Listen, okay. Does it say hide within yourself your love to her? You're twisting the whole criteria. I'm not. Does it, does, it say, does it say that this is mean? You hide within yourself your love you to her. You are twisting it. Let me finish. Just Let get finish. out of here. Get out of here, son of Mita. I allow you to call me names, Yakawa, just for the sake of entertainment. We are laughing. Faith in mouth. He hide in himself, within himself, that he want to sleep with this woman. But the fact he did not hide it no more. And here notice that Allah saying to him, Allah saying to him, why you are telling the man, keep your wife, look how hypocrite Muhammad is. A second ago, he was in the house of the man, flirting with the wife of the man. Saying to her how he is hiding, and he just said to her, he just flirt with her. He's not hiding it. But when the husband came to Muhammad, Muhammad, he suddenly, uh, he was maybe afraid that this guy will kill him. He said, I mean, keep, keep your wife to you, man. Why do you want to divorce her? Keep her, keep her, keep her. So Muhammad now, he regret what I just did. The guy is coming, obviously, and Zainab, she told him, why you he came to you he don't want me no more i told him go and look the son of muhammad don't dare to divorce his wife without muhammad permission which mean he is a is a whore this man is not a man muhammad obviously he married him to this woman so he can enter upon the house anytime and nobody will question why he is going there because he is the father i mean i a guy go into his son house nobody will say what the man doing there when the husband is not there especially this is a middle eastern society everybody watching everybody so 
He married him to this woman. He married him. The book says that Muhammad married Zainab. He married Zainab to Zaid. It was his decision. And now we know why. He want her, but when he married her, he could not do it. And this is why I believe that the reason he could not do it may be because Khadija was alive. Or maybe he is don't feel powerful enough to force his desire on others. But now, obviously, it is time. So he made a verse saying, Allah told me why you hide what you, hide, what you have within you. You lost your desire. The translation here is false. It says love. It doesn't say love. It says lust. And what you fear? He feared that people will speak bad about him. Well, obviously this is bad. So Muhammad now here, he was a hypocrite. The Quran confirmed that. Telling the man to keep his wife when he just came from the house of the man who he flirted with his wife. And the translation here says, marry her. Nowhere in the verse it says, marry her. And look, there is something here in Arabic. It's so disgusting. It says, فَلَمَّا قَضَى زَيْدٌ مِنْهَا وَطَرَى when Zaid, he don't have any sexual desire from her. He have enough of boom, boom with her. Look how disgusting the language. Then we made her your wife. So Zaid, he had enough boom, boom with this woman. He dump her. This is what he says. We made her yours. The name of Zaid mentioned by Allah? Yes, because now the penis of Muhammad, he want this woman. It's not enough for all the women he have. And the God of Islam in heaven, he is he's making verses about who should marry Muhammad and who Muhammad should have sex with. I mean, do you see God? There's, we, have, we have the galaxies, we have millions billions of stars nobody knows where this massive universe will go and the god the creator he's writing about zainab and zaid and muhammad muhammad he went to the house of zainab allah he left the curtain up in arabic it says زينب he saw zainab wearing almost nothing or nothing he got so horny. He said, whoa. And she was white and big and beautiful. And the most perfect women of Quraysh. She is the top pretty women of Quraysh. Now we know. This is the reason. And this is why the same chapter explaining that if the eyes of the prophet fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. So the prophet can if her. And this is what happened with Zaid. After this verse, Zayn, Zaid, he was forced to divorce his wife. Muhammad, he gave him a verse. He says, Allah told me this. You must divorce her. And this is why it says, the privilege of the prophet, if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. How that can be from God? <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? This guy is a very filthy mouth, huh? But... They are useful idiots. They made us laugh anyway. Did we have a good time?
imagine that one of the disciples of Jesus, he do that. You see, we have a story in the Old Testament about David. David, he did not do what Muhammad did. David, he sent, he sent uh, uh, an army leader to war. And obviously David here is doing something very evil. He want the wife of this man. He sent this man to die. He sent him to war. The man he died, he took the wife. But what God he did to David, anyone remember? Here, the God of Islam is encouraging Muhammad to go and take the wife from a married man. She is married now. She is married now. He go to her house, he flirt with her, according to Muslims, but we are sure they are, he's sleeping with her. In the story of David, God, he destroyed his family. Literally, the family which is based on corruption. Even his son from that woman died. So in the Bible we have a man who did such an act. And he's a very famous king. Very famous man in the history of, of, of the Jews. God did not say to him, oh, you are David, so don't worry. He take her, yeah, for sure, why not? Why you are hiding what is in your heart? No, he condemned him and he punished him severe punishment. So there is a huge difference between here and there. This is the book of lust. The book of the devil is encouraging Muhammad to sleep around, take women from their husbands. In our book, God, he condemns such an action. And if the person did not repent, the punishment will be extreme severe. Did we, heard, did we learn something new today? I hope so. And uh, I hope that people, they, you know, they learn how to, to, like, you know, we answer some questions for people. And the way I answer things, as you notice, I, it's different from other Christians, they answer it. Uh, I try to make things simple, you know. Uh, you, you know, you might go to some uh, Christian uh, pages, they start talking about, they, they mention words nobody understand, you know. Like they give you words, it's coming from the top of the roof. But I believe this is wrong. Those words can be, let us say, used. If I'm speaking to somebody, let's say I am a person who have a PhD, maybe higher even. I'm a professor in the Bible, maybe. And then I'm speaking to other professor. So we, and we, we have a certain language. It's like when there's two doctors, they, they use some Latin words. Nobody knows what they mean. But the Lord, the Messiah, he never used such a language. You will notice the first thing, that those who have a very high, let us say, degree in the Bible, they use words the Messiah never used. So why are why they are using it? In fact, I noticed that when they use those things, they make people even more confused. Like a person, he asks you a question because he's confused. You explain it, you make him more confused because you are using words you know, he never heard of. He don't, he don't know even what they mean. And some, they try to use words which like, let us say, uh, to show that they have, they have knowledge. But God is not the God of confusion. He never used those words and he don't care for your PhD. So if you want to speak about the Lord, if you cannot explain him by his own words without adding your fictions, let us say, uh, I don't know what they call them, like, you know, the, the hollow, the jellyfish uh, words, fish from the middle of nowhere in the dictionary. Nobody knows what they mean. And you claim that those words are the one who can explain. In fact, nobody knows them except you and him and those who they have a very certain education. So your answer have, have, is not valid. The valid answer is the one which make it so simple to someone is simple. God, he did not speak 
Like, who is the one who have a PhD between the Jews when God he spoke to them? What did the degree, what did the degree Musa he have? What did the degree Abraham he has? What what knowledge they have? So when they try to explain things to you by making a show to show you how much powerful they are in knowledge, they did not explain anything. In fact, they do damage. That's why the person who called me, he says, can you explain to me the Trinity? He don't understand. Why? Because most of the Christians, they say things that have nothing to do with the Trinity. They make it so complicated. They start talking about Greek words and Latin words and this is mean and that mean and etc. I mean, are you explaining to him, a person who do not know a single word in that language, or now it is time to show off, to, to show off and show us that you know those words? Can't you explain with the Trinity without going up and down and, uh, you know, like show us your muscles of knowledge? Can't you explain the Trinity in simple sentence? If you read the, the parable of Jesus, you will see how simple they are. He was speaking to farmers, fishermen, you know, people, they have no education, nothing. They did not go to university, they don't speak languages, they don't have, uh, you know, every parable. Why he spoke to them in such a way? So you might understand. So I do not need the PhD guy to explain to me the Bible, the Lord himself. The best one who can explain the Lord is the Lord. And what make it so funny sometimes that someone, he is a Christian, he tried to defend the Trinity. You do not need to defend the Trinity. You cannot, you simply, what do you mean to de defend? God is a three and one. If God cannot be three and one, he cannot be God. Are you, are you questioning what God can be? There's nothing to defend. How the Muslim he accept that Jesus the Christ is alive for the last thousand of years? That makes sense? Oh, they say to you, well, God, he want that, no problem. Okay, if God, he want to be three and one. How the Muslim accept that Jesus is a son of a virgin? That makes sense? No, it doesn't make sense. It makes sense only in Christianity. They say to you, well, God made a miracle. Well, God is a miracle, so he's three and one. So Muhammad and our hypocrites, they are not rejecting the Trinity because the Trinity is not right. They are rejecting the Trinity because Muhammad, he said there's no Trinity. If Muhammad, he said there's Trinity, then there was nobody would discuss. The Muslim, then they would defend the idea. This is why you don't see any Muslim making fun of Mary being a virgin. They don't. It's not because Trinity doesn't make sense and Mary uh, being a virgin makes sense. No, it's just because the Quran says so. And as long as the Quran says so, who is going to question the Quran? It is just about what is there. If it is there, then the Muslim will say we agree. If it is not, the Muslim, they will say, we will not agree. If you ask a Muslim, why you do circumcise? Nobody can answer you. Hey Muslim, why you do circumcise? They say to you, it's a must. Okay, why your prophet did not circumcise? The second you say that, they say that not necessarily. <laughs> Muhammad, he was trying to make a religion. He brought the God of the Arab, Allah. He tried to enforce the name of his God and mix it with other belief, like Judaism and Christianity. 
and Sabian and uh, the, you know other other belief and uh, this is what Islam is about Islam is a bunch of many religions this is why Muhammad in the Quran says those who they are Sabian Sabian the one who worships stars and those who they are Jews and those who they are uh, uh, Christians and whoever believe in Allah look look who's left Muhammad was trying all his best to make every like you know like do you know this uh, these days they make you uh, what they call it uh, there is a temple for them in Israel which is very stupid of the Israeli to 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 have them but as you know the Israeli these days they are very much lost the same as other nations uh, what they call them not Ahmadiyya it's like a mix of religion I forgot the name they have a big, big temple in the in a nice location in Jerusalem. They gave them one of the best. I mean, they are desperate for one meter inside Jerusalem, and then they gave those people a big temple. Bahi, 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 Bahi. What is Bahi? Bahi is a mixed cocktail of shish kebab, hummus, hippies, Buddhist, Christian, Judaism. You don't even know what it is that. So Muhammad in the beginning, he was trying to be the Bahi. Everybody go to heaven. In other way, Muhammad, he was trying to be the guru. But the sex guru. The guru, he want to sleep with all the women of the followers. The guru who want them to pay them money, like sad guru. You know sad guru? We made videos about this idiot sad guru. The funny, I made a video about this sad guru, and the video I was I played a video of him speaking about we have to accept each other. Why you get angry? Why you get angry when somebody don't agree with you? I made the video about sad guru showing how stupid he is. He reported me to YouTube after 15 minutes for copyright. <laughs> big fraud and you will notice those people all of them they have the same interest they like to sit between blonde women sad guru he don't go and sit with women who they are not rich and blonde he come all the way to Los Angeles and all his audience are women, they are blonde, and we are in sh wearing short skirt. And sad guru trying to tell them who they are, how to understand yourself. And he asked them to join his yoga class, which each one of them she will bend over and he will be staring. And he is a good man. He prayed to God. He loves God, but he don't believe God. He don't even know what God is. Sadhguru, he, he said, actually, love is not true. <laughs> and then we played a video after he speak about his wife, that he loves his wife. <laughs> you know, so uh, to make it simple, all of them, uh, all of them, they have the same method to the de to de to deceive, you know, the world. All of them, they play the same game. They try to present themselves that they are the man, who they are spiritual, who they are. If you go right now and search for the net worth of Zad Guru, you will not believe it. They ask him about the death of his wife. He said she killed herself by the yoga. Have you ever heard of someone she killing herself by yoga? He said that she rest, she she reached the point of perfection. So a human being, when he reached the point of perfection, he killed himself. So yoga make me feel better or commit suicide? Very sick. 
Those people, when they go around, they sleep in the most expensive hotels. They have Rolex, you know, uh, watches in their hands. They have big villas, nice mansions. Their children, they study in the most expensive universities. But yet, they claim that they are people who they are serving God. And you know, those, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know why, actually. I noticed that the one who have all cults, they have more effect in the Western society more than other society. Like, how comes that guru, you know, like there is a Christian, let us say, in Lebanon. There is Muslim there. There is Druze. There is many. How come Sad Guru is not really impacting those people much? How come? I mean, is it possible that they are smarter than European? There is something fishy, something weird about what's going on for European people. I believe the main reason they are empty inside spiritually, and that make them exposed to all kind of viruses the virus of islam the virus of yoga the virus of hippies all kind of viruses this is why when the muslims they come to europe like today one of you he sent me a video made by the cnn suddenly the cnn is exposing islam now no they are not they are talking about the extremist, which is false. There is no extremist. So they mentioned that there's 500 convert from Belgium alone. They join ISIS. How stupid the people of Belgium are. What happened to those people? A country which is so beautiful. A country which is worthy with culture, music, art, how in the world those people they become so trashy to the point they accept such a trashy garbage religion 500 from belgium alone they join isis so how many they fall into the garbage of muhammad this is why it's very important to protect your children and to educate them from what you learn from us either you make them listen to us and when i say us by the way some people they say to me always you say us why you say us well i don't know i feel comfortable to say us because i believe that this is all of us here yes i'm the one who do the education yes it's me who do the work but always i felt i have a family and i'm not doing the work alone in fact without you i have nothing to do if I am here talking alone, what? Eh, bye bye. You know. So yeah, people they say you say us like, do you have assistance? Do you have? Well, all of them they are my assistant. They, they are my family. Without them, I'm nobody here. What I will be doing here? Teach myself, repeat to myself, speak to myself. So us, we are the Christians. We are a family, and we have work to do. Us, we are the church. And this is why us, all of us, we have to educate our children so they themselves, they will do educate other children so the Muslims, they don't target them and fool them. And as you know, they are flooding TikTok and they are flooding everywhere. And your kids are very, very exposed. We have a Christian who they are adult. They do not know anything about Christianity. They can't answer anything. So about, what about, about your son? How about your daughter? If you yourself cannot refute, how your son or your daughter can do so. So what we do here is extremely important. And what we do here is because your priest is not doing his job. Sadly, the priests in our churches, they are just busy collecting donation. Otherwise, why and what I'm doing here? Have you heard of anything I, I say? Anything I say here? Do you hear it from any church? Never. Why? Is their job only to read for you John chapter 3, John chapter 5? The same verse we read yesterday and the verse we saw it last year. Why we don't have education for what's happening today?
Why the church don't do their job? What is their job exactly? Especially churches who do just rituals. Stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, sing, read the verses, sit down, thank you. Draw the cross in your body, in your face. Okay, bye-bye, thank you, see you next week. But people learn nothing. There's Jehovah's Witnesses, they are hunting your kids in the street in every corner. There's Mormon, there's Muslims, there's Hindus, there's Buddhists, there's all kind of madness. And what they are doing in our churches? Nothing. I bet you the priest himself do not know how to answer the questions because they are ignorant. They are just doing a business. If the priest in our church is doing their job, I will not be here and I will not be needed. But they are not. And, you know, we are very grateful that now we have recording, we have videos. So one day Christian Prince will die, and I hope that will happen soon. You people will not be without education. You have my books. You have thousands and thousands of my videos. And then it's going to be the duty of the new generation to carry on the mission of education so we can fight the devil. Remember what the Bible says, that my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance. Anyway, I want to say thank you all for being here. Uh, do we have enough for today? Or should we should stay more? Let us see in Skype if we have any Abdul. He's trying to contact us. Ah, I see somebody. Hold on. Uh, there's Abdul. He want to call. Oh, okay. Yeah, let him call. Look like we have a fish. Now my legs is hurting really from from sitting. If there's anyone knows there is a good microphone like a Bluetooth microphone have good sound, so at least I can walk around when I'm talking, because it's really hurt to sit like this for many hours. All right. Hello. Hello. I hear you. You are live on air. Uh Sorry, I'm, I'm not an Abdul, I'm a Christian. Okay. Uh, so I have a question about uh, Christianity because uh, I afraid that I want to convert my friend to Christian, but I afraid that they will ask me about this, my doubts, and maybe I cannot answer this question. So okay. about the Trinity, mm -hmm. so how how to explain to them like, they always ask me, like, if there's three, like Father, mm -hmm. Jesus, and Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. how is it one God like that? Well, a human being is one and three in the same time. He is a soul, he is a body, and he's a mind. So if a human being is a three and one, why God, if, if a human can be so, can't God be so? At the same time, if God is God, then he can be three and the one at the same time. Like, if there is anyone can explain how God is. If we ask the Muslims, is Allah Shin? Is different yeah, God? Of course they will ask. Uh, or it is still Allah. So Allah have a shin, Allah have a face, Allah have a hand. Is it soul all the, those are parts? Or they are one God? If they are one God, will Allah Shin? Is his shin? He mentioned it. Allah have hands. Allah have a shin. Allah. That mean he have a physical body. Okay. So is Allah only a physical body, or he have a spirit? The Muslim they say he is not a spirit. So how Allah can be God yet he have no spirit? They say to you, well, he's God. He can he can be God without being a spirit. So Muslims being hypocrite. God is called God because simply everything is possible for him. And if God cannot be three and one, that means he cannot be God because nothing is impossible for God. What is the rejection for how you can be three and one? It's about, can you? 
correct? The word can, right? Can. Yeah. But we cannot say, or we cannot say that God can and cannot, because always God can. Yeah, do sure. do God always can, or he? Can, uh, there's options where he cannot. So either God always he can be whatever he wish, or God cannot be God then. So what the Muslims they are saying to you actually that their God cannot be three in one. So the answer, the answer, the, the most simple answer you say to them, well, my God because he's a true God, he can because he have the power, he can be three in one. Your God he cannot. He cannot be three in one because he is limited. He cannot. If he say no, he can. He said, okay, so what the problem then? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. You're very, you're very smart, bro. Like, same, oh. same time, my friend. Uh, if we go in the Quran, we will find this. The Messiah himself is a three in one. How the Messiah is a three and one in the same time? If a three and one is is impossible, so the Messiah he is the word of Allah according to Muhammad, which he throw it or he bestowed on uh, on Mary. And as you know, let us see. Uh, If you read here, chapter 4, verse 171, it says, do you see my screen? Yes. All right. Uh, let us read together. It says here, O people of the book, by the way, this is the same verse, is denied the Trinity. But look how stupid the one who made this verse. The same verse denied the Trinity is the same verse confirming the Trinity. How? Let us see. So it says here, O people of the book, which means Christians and Jews, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah out but the, tr but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, between two brackets, no more, this does not exist, this is false translation, is a messenger of Allah. Okay, so he is a messenger. What well, this messenger is a man, right? Yes. Okay, and he is his word. Yeah. And then he is a spirit proceeding from him. That is Jesus. He's what? He's a man. He's the word. He is a spirit of God. Spirit. It says not only spirit, no, spirit proceeding from God. Spirit proceeding from him. Him who? From Allah. Yeah. Only Jesus is a spirit proceeding from Allah. No one else. Muhammad is not. Abraham is not. Nobody. Yeah. Three and one. So, if the Quran itself, the stupid Quran, trying to say, don't say Trinity, but the same verse brought us Jesus as a three and one. What John chapter one says, in the beginning it was the word, right? Yes. That is what the Quran is saying here. Muhammad is trying to copy John one. The word become a man, a flesh. John one fourteen. Correct? Correct. That is the man. And well, when Jesus the man, the word of God, he come to earth and he got baptized, the spirit of God said, this is my only begotten son. Yeah. Proceeding from him. So Jesus is the man, the word, and the spirit of God, three and one in the same time. So if Jesus can be that in the Quran, the, the same verse said, say, don't, don't say three. This is how stupid Muhammad is. The same verse says, say not a trinity, is the same verse confirm a form of a trinity. This is not, this is not our trinity, by the way. We don't believe in such a trinity. We believe that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But here we are showing the Muslims how the Quran itself confirmed that the Messiah himself is the man, is the word, is a spirit from God. And if the Jesus is the word of God, that means he is eternal. 
And the Muslim believe that the word of God is not created. So Jesus is not created. Because word of God is not created. You see, it doesn't say God saying a story. He said he is his word. The Messiah himself, he is the word of God. And that word sent down to Mary. This is what John chapter one verse, uh, chapter one verse number one and verse number fourteen says, and the word became a flesh. The word came to Mary, and Mary delivered the flesh. That is the word of God, the Messiah, the Christ. So the Quran is so stupid. While it's denying the Trinity, is giving us other explanation, proving Islam to be false and stupid. Because if this is impossible for anyone to be three, how Jesus become a three and one in the same time? What Jesus was before he become a messenger? He was the word. It's in front of us. Right? Yeah, okay. So uh, I, I really understand that. And thank you, Mr. Prince. For, and then for my second question, like, right. when Jesus was crucified, he said that to the father, uh, father, why did you abandon me? Like I, I also watched the same Shimon. Mm. He explained this to a Muslim, but after watching it, I still cannot understand. Like he said, it, it's it's completed, but I still not really understand it. So if you can, yeah, if I you go to... if you go to math when he uh, to math Matthew, he said, uh, uh, you know, Eli, Eli. Uh, uh, this is this is a prophecy from the Old Testament prophesying that the Messiah is going to be hanged is going to be crucified is going to be tortured and this is why he says it's complete it's reference to Psalm 22 so you go in Psalm you will see he's saying exactly the same same words he's quoting he's quoting the Old Testament it's a prophecy about him and that's why he said it's complete. Complete what? What he came for, what he's prepared for, what he knew is going to happen, that machine is complete. So he is quoting, he's reminding people that this is the, the psalm, you know, speaking about me, and I am the Messiah. Okay. Okay, I understand it. Yeah. And last, last one, like, uh, uh, Bible mentioned that Jesus, like, before he was captured, he was praying, right? In hmm. the garden. Yeah. I guess. You see the so, the prayer the, the prayer of Jesus, uh like the Muslim they say uh, uh, Jesus praying uh, uh praying bowing down. Uh yeah, the, yeah. no okay. the, the, the Jewish tradition when they pray they don't bow, they lay down in the ground. They lay down, they lay down and they open their hands. Oh. They don't. They don't. They pray like the Muslim. This is false, and this is why. If you go right now, you see like I don't know if you see any uh, uh, monk. He wanna like when he decide to become a monk, he go in the church and he sleep in the floor. It's like swimming. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this is not and, the Muslim prayer. The Muslim prayer and, is a copy of the Sabian. Same time, the Muslims are very funny. Uh, what is the objection there? They told, say to you. About that, if he is, so a, they say, uh, they say if Jesus pray like solat, and also if Jesus is God, why did he pray to? That's himself? a good question. So why Allah he pray? The Quran says Allah who yusalluna al nabi The Messiah when he he pray he pray to the Father. When Allah he pray he pray to who? The Son he pray to the Father. Who is more? Who you know? Why what what the word Father mean? That means the Messiah himself is from the Father, not the opposite. So it's very normal that the, the Son, he prays the Father. And then the Messiah, if you go to John chapter uh, uh, 3, you will see that the Messiah says, Father, pray, you know, glorify me the same as the, uh, 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 the same I glorify you before the whole world was to was exist. So the Messiah confirmed he was before the world. And the Messiah confirmed that the same he praised the Lord, as the Father, the Lord, the Father, He praised the Son. It's not only Him praising the Father, the Father, He praised the Son. 
But in the Quran it says, Allahu wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ayin nabi. Allah, he prayed to whom? So in Christianity, if, if, the, if, the, if the Messiah, he pray, mm -hmm. he pray to the Father. Allah, he pray to whom? To his Father? Okay. To his God? You see? I don't know, man. We will use their the logic. It, yeah, we, we have to use their logic. If their logic is, the one who pray, he cannot be God. Right? Yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. So, so Allah, uh, uh, Allah, He pray to whom? The Muslim when they translate, they say Yusalli, mean He pray, He He blessing. That's false. Everybody knows Salat mean pray. Yeah. Allah He pray on you. The Quran says, Allah Yusalli alaykum. Chapter as an example, chapter thirty three, verse number forty three. The Muslim they translate that they say. It is he who sent the blessing on you, false. How we expose it? Look what the verse is saying. It is he who pray on you and as so as the angels. If Allah, he blessed you, you do not need the angels. Angels, don't, angels cannot bless anyone. Neither me. You see, when I say bless you, I am just shorting the sentence saying, may God bless you. Blessing come from God only. Here you see, that if the Muslim they say that Allah sending a blessing, then the angels are God too. Look what it says, because it says, as do his angels. So, yeah, true. angels according to Islam now, they can do as Allah can do. That means angels are gods. If there is any Muslim listening, I challenge you to call me and tell me how in the world you come with such a stupid translation which is making more, making the Quran more horrible because now we have two gods. The God you call him Allah, he sent the blessing. And the angels, they do the same as Allah. They send the blessing. Which one is the one whom we need to send the blessing? If the Muslims are monotheists, then they should believe that only one person can give a blessing. Angels cannot. In fact, the Quran confirmed that angels are a bunch of liars. So how they can bless anyone? So they cover a, a lie in the translation. It says, It is him who pray on you and his angels. And why do Allah pray for them? To take you out of darkness. But Allah do not need a prayer to take someone from darkness. <laughs> why he needs to pray yeah I mean not, what, and not only that he pray to take you out of darkness he's praying to who it's a supplication so if the Messiah making a prayer well he is a praying to the Father mm. what the Messiah said let your will be done correct correct okay so the Messiah he knew that they are going to crucify him and he is saying, okay, Father, I, it's not me who like to be in the cross, but let your will be done. And here you notice that the, the son is totally obedient to the father, and he is totally in agreement with the father. He never say no. So the son praying to the father is very accepted, very normal. But Allah saying, he pray on you, and so as the angels. And what is the purpose? To take you out of darkness. So... What can take a Muslim out of darkness? Allah prayer. But a prayer, if you ask the Muslims, this is why they are asking you how Jesus can be God and he prays to someone, right? Right. Prayer is supplication, asking for something. So Allah is praying to who? If there is higher than Allah? This. And how Allah he send the blessing, how Allah he will send the blessing, so as the angels. Yeah. Why, Allah, why Allah is like the angel. If God is a like if God is a blessed me, I, I'm blessed. That's it. Yeah. What angels? Angels cannot bless anyone. Angels? The, uh, uh, there's no blessing except from God. <clears throat> so, yeah. and if God He blessed them, He blessed them when they are in darkness. This is, this is against the Quran. So they, they lie in the translation. 
and they they come with the word the word salah suddenly salah everybody knows hey salah 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 mean pray and this is the word you salli and this is mentioned in the Quran in other places Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Allah and the angels praying at the Prophet why Allah and the angels are praying in the Prophet and they are praying to whom <clears throat> Muslim can't answer <clears throat> if you remember when uh, uh, David Wood was debating uh, uh, what his name uh, Mimi, Mimi Hijab he said this yeah. is why in the translation it says pray for not to oh. Yeah, for okay, but that make it more stupid. Allah pray yeah. for or to who care? Allah pray for who? <laughs> when Allah he pray, that's mean he's praying to someone. Okay, he's praying to Muhammad, no problem. But Allah pray for Muhammad to who? Yeah, it's still the same. Like he want to counter David Wood, but it's still the same. It's not make sense. Allah pray. To it's who? stupid. He's trying to fix it. Who care if Allah pray for Muhammad? Allah don't pray on Muhammad. It's the same. The question is, when Allah He pray, He pray to who? Yeah. You know, uh, 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 there is tons of verses in the Quran. Or like as an example here, Shahid Allah an la ilaha illahu wal malaika. Okay, Allah He said shahada <laughs> that there is no god but Allah and the angels. Look, what the heck? Why Allah saying Shahada? Chapter 3, verse number 13. Uh, actually, hold on. Uh, this is not uh, uh, that the verse I click in the hold on. Give me a second. Yeah, here. Shahid Allah and La ilaha. Yeah, chapter 3, verse 18, actually. Yeah. Uh, there's no God. Allah, look at the first translation. They they change it the way it is. But anyway, there is no God but He, that the witness of Allah. We change the translator. Allah bear witness that there is no God but He and the angels and men possessed of knowledge, upholding justice. What is that? How that can work? What the angels and the men upholding knowledge and justice, who, who is the one is holding knowledge and doing justice? Is it Allah? Is it the angels? Is it the people who have knowledge? Who, what, is the, what is this mix? You don't understand. But Allah, he witnessed that he is God. To who? Allah converted to Islam now? And then it says he is the Almighty, and they will not as here. It's taken about. Obviously, Muhammad is making Quran, fabricating Quran, speaking about his God. This is not God speaking about himself. This is why it says, "No God but He." Yeah. So all what? those verses in the Quran, proving to us that Muhammad is fabricating religion, and Allah Himself He pray. But Muslim cannot explain to us, like chapter 33, verse number 56. Allah and the angels praying on Muhammad, not blessing Muhammad. And if they say blessing, that means the angels are gods too. Because only God can bless. bless. Same time, if Allah and the angels, they do prayer. So either way, if they come, they agree with us that this is what it's meant, it's a prayer. It is a bad thing. Why? Because here Allah and the angels are praying on Muhammad. And look what it says here. All believers do, do also bless him. That's false. Believers cannot bless anyone. Yeah. Believers can ask for a blessing. They cannot bless. And if Allah, he blessed Muhammad already, who need the believers? The believers, their job is to pray. You see how this is how they expose themselves with the false translation. What the verse says, Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima, sallu. So it says here, and you believers, Sallu alayhi, pray on him. 
and sell him with Islam and sell you with him, which is very funny and stupid. So Muhammad became the center of the universe. Allah, the angels, and mm -hmm. the believers, all they are praying on Muhammad. He became the center. He's God. He's their God. Yeah. But all of this. Muhammad is God. But all of this is a stupid because, as you see, suddenly Allah and angels and Muslims all can do blessing. It's in front of you. Chapter 33, verse number 56. But this is, cannot be in a religion they believe in monotheism. Because God only, he can bless somebody. Here, God, angels, and human. And this is based on their translation, which is false. But the verse saying Allah and his angels praying on Muhammad and then Allah he command the believers to pray for Muhammad in fact in Arabic it says Sallu alayhi, which means pray on Muhammad not for Muhammad it's messed up Muhammad he wanted to be the center of the universe and now he made his God worshiping him the angels worshiping him and the believers they are worshiping him and if the Muslim they are saying no 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 they are not worshiping they are praying for him pray for him to do what to be what? To be saved? To be in heaven? Yeah, man, that's the... Muhammad, he need the prayer of Allah to be in heaven? Muhammad, he need the prayer of the Muslim to be in heaven? What does this mean? It is just a madman who worship himself. He have an echo. He have, he, you know, he, he, he believe he wanted to be the, 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 the top so now he command them and show them that even God and his angels in heaven, they are busy praying on me. And now you do so. Yeah. If there's any other question? Uh, one, uh, two more. All right. Uh, the fourth one is, like Jesus said about the, the day of judgment. Yeah. Uh, only... Only the Father knows, <clears throat> all right. not even the Son and all of us, but just the Father. And he also mentioned not the Son, like I confess there. Hmm. Yeah, you see uh, what uh, what the Messiah is talking about. When, he, when, when I mentioned to you in the beginning, I said to you, the Son is always obedient to the Father, correct? Correct. Okay, what does that mean, obedience? It means there's someone have authority, right? Yeah. Okay. The right. Messiah, he says, everything I have is given to me from my father, correct? Correct. Okay. So the hour is the command of the father when it's going to be. The judge is going to be Jesus. So the father, he have a job. That's why mm -hmm. Jesus says, my father, he work and I work too. So he have his work. The father, he have a work. The son, he have different word. So the father is the one who decide when the day of judgment will be. And then who is going to be the judge? Jesus says, and he gave me the judge over the, to be the judge over the flesh. So what the Messiah is saying, this is the job of my father, not my job. And about knowing the hour, because simply the hour can change and nobody should know the hour. Why? Because the Lord, he don't want anyone to know the hour. So people will not. If the Messiah, he says to them, the hour is going to be, let's say, tomorrow, then everybody repent, everybody go to heaven. This is not how the judgment day will work. Judgment day happen when nobody is aware, and God will come the same as a thief in the middle of the night. But doesn't doesn't mean he will come at night, but the same as an example yeah. about how nobody is going to be aware. When nobody expects that hour to happen, this is why that hour only the Father he knew, because we don't believe in the predestiny. If you remember the story of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, when, when, when he asked God, he says to him, if there is 70 people in this town are decent, you will destroy the town? He said, no. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Okay, so the judgment, not, the judgment day is not God. Is one... Yeah, so the judgment day in Christianity is not a preset date. Oh. It's not. It's when the human being is corrupt totally. When there is no not even 10 people in the whole world are decent. This is what he did to the Sodom and Gomorrah. If there is 10, are you going to destroy it? 10, just 10. No. So when there is no, which means the whole earth is corrupt. We did not reach that point. So 
when the earth is in total chaos and corruption, then God will come to the judgment day. And that is not a preset. So a human being can change that day. How? By, be, by repenting, by having more good people. So judgment day, it might be a million years from now. It might be 10 million from here from now. It might be tomorrow. It's the same as a box of apples. We throw the apples in garbage when all the apples are damaged, correct? Correct. But if the apples are still fine, why we are going to throw them in the hellfire? Yeah, true. So we, when in the same time, when the when the Muslims speak about the hour, how come they don't notice that the Messiah he says, when this and this and this and this and this and this happen, I will come. Is that correct? In the same yeah. chapter. So when those things happen, if you go to Matthew chapter twenty-four, when when those things happen, I will come. So the Messiah he is not ignorant about the hour. He is speaking about the announcement of the hour. It is not in my hand. It's not to me. The Father, he is the one who will announce it. But at the same time, if we read, we will find that the Messiah is speaking about what will happen step by step. Well, me. <laughs> same time, smart. same time before we finish about this. Yeah. If this is okay, if this is what would not make Jesus God, will their God do not know the hour? If we go to the chapter of the moon as an example, in the moon chapter it says that is when Shaqal Qamar. The the judgment day is near and the moon is split. But no moon is no moon is split, it's a lie. Suddenly there is no judgment day happen. So do Allah knew the hour? <laughs> you don't. Mm -hmm. Chapter 54, verse number one. What kind of God? He claimed that the hour is, you see in Arabic it says, Iqtarabat. Iqtarabat is not just like soon. It's like, it's, it's, it's getting so close. And now the sign of the day of judgment already started. It's not just a close. It is the split of the moon. Why the moon is split? Because the judgment day is near. So why the moon is fixed back? <laughs> like, if the moon is split is a sign of day judgment, then it should be split. That's it. Why Allah, he fixed it? Yeah. Nobody witnessed such a thing. The Muslim, they claim in the hadith that the moon is split to the point that the mountain of Hara, the moon became two pieces far distance, like the mountain appear in the middle, and the moon become two pieces far from, from the moon. From the, from the mountain, which means, like, uh, in reality, this would be millions of miles. This is not just a crack. This is a total split. Even the Quran says, in shock, which means split. So, uh, here, we, here we go. Allah, he mentioned the hour, but he do not know the hour. We are a thousand four hundred years after Muhammad, and yet nothing happened. Muhammad, he said in the hadith, Liu Shikna, the Messiah, He's almost coming down. Mm. This is what you should not mean. Let us see. Let us show you the hadith. Muhammad claiming, even there's other hadith saying that even this person, a child, he will not grow old before the judgment day happen. And here, this is the hadith about the Messiah. Muhammad, he swear by Allah, and this is very authentic. By him, in whose hand is my life, the son of Mary, he will soon descend among you. He's speaking to who? To the people in front of him, right? Yeah. Did Isa descend among them? Those people are dead. 1400 years ago, and there's no Isa. Muhammad, he make it clear. He cannot keep his mouth shut. 
that when the Messiah, he come down, he will abolish the jizya. There's no jizya from long time. Mm -hmm. Read it. So if yeah. this is will happen, should happen in the time when the Muslims are still in control and they are forcing the Christian to pay the jizya, which a theft from the Muslims, a gang like the mafia, protection money, pay or die. Jesus will abolish the jizya. That means this is, should happen before the jizya is already abolished. Nobody pays jizya. Who pays jizya in Saudi Arabia? Nobody. No Christian pays jizya even in Pakistan. Nobody pays jizya. Where? So Muhammad, he made it clear that the moon is split and the judgment day is near. And this is supposedly Allah speaking. And Muhammad now, he get message from Allah saying that the Messiah will come soon between you. You who? You who they are in front of him. Not you 10,000 years after. If he say, the Messiah will come one day between the people. No, no. He says, between you speaking to people in the front of him. And he will be what? He will be the judge and he will be just. How Muhammad claimed that Messiah is just a is just a prophet and he can be a just judge. Yeah, true. Only God is just. Can judge. I can be a judge, but I can't be just. It's impossible. But only the Messiah, he is a just judge. And look what Muhammad, he says. Is Muhammad just judge? No. Muhammad, he says, that any one of you, I curse him or I whip his back unjustly. I made a condition with Allah to make it as mercy for him. So Muhammad, he confirmed that even he is beating people unjustly. Look what he said, and this is authentic. Oh Allah, and look look at the title here. Chapter, whenever is cursed, revealed or prayed against by the prophet, when he does not deserve that. So what Muhammad did? Muhammad, he is cursing people when they don't deserve. Muhammad, he whipped the back of people when they don't deserve. Muhammad, he beat people when they don't deserve. And Muhammad claiming that he made that condition on Allah, that anyone I curse him or I beat him unjustly, make it mercy for him, how that can work. So here we notice that the Messiah in Islam, suddenly he is the only judge and he is the only just. And this is, will be happening in the judgment day. Muhammad in his time, the one supposedly the Muslim, they claim he is guided by Allah. And he is the best of mankind. He is beating his people Cursing, invoking curse, saying filthy language, whipping their back unjustly. Does it say unjustly or I'm making things up? Here we go. Do you see it? The hand. Yeah. So everything the Muslim they say, it is the opposite. It is about their prophet. So the Messiah, if you go, when, when we talk about the Messiah, he know the day of judgment or not. You will, How come the Messiah, they don't say, they don't, they don't see? Uh, like in verse number 21, there, there will be interpolation such as was not since the beginning of the world in this, in, in this time. If we go there, you will see the Messiah giving a lot of signs of days of judgment, which nobody knows. And then Muhammad, he tried to copy it. He put it in the Quran. So what the Messiah is speaking yeah. of, all of this is what the Messiah, he is telling us what will happen. Yeah. So from the signs of the day of judgment, the Messiah speak of, but the day of judgment is in the hand of the Father to announce it only. Why? Because simply, when the whole world is corrupt, that is the job of the Father to do that. It's not my job. It's not, it's not for me. It's for me to be the judge. And then what will happen? After all those signs happen, which the Messiah, he count for us, which the, the Muslim, they try to ignore. Then the Messiah, then he shall send his angels with the great sound of trumpet and shall gather together his elect from the four winds 
from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of fig tree. And he continues speaking. So the, the, the Muslim, they don't mention that, you know. So then when, when they go to, to say, okay, but of that day and the hour knows no man, no, not the angels of the heaven, but my father only. How come the Muslim didn't see the rest? And how come they did not notice that he just said, my father only? Yeah. Who? My father. So even this one confirmed that Jesus is the son and the father is the only one who will announce it. He's the only one who will, who will tell about it. So they did read this one, but did not read that Jesus said, my father. So they believe in this one now? If they believe that means Jesus here is right, you know, this is saying the truth that Jesus is the son of God. <laughs> yeah. And then he continued, he's giving you all the signs and his all the explanation. And look what it says here. Therefore, be you also ready for such an hour as you think not the son of, the, of man cometh. Uh, who then is a faithful and wise servant? Who is the Lord has made ruler over the household to give the need uh, a due season and then he continue his saying i mean the whole chapter is really amazing but the muslim they are trying to find a reason to believe or to make you believe that jesus cannot be god so jesus cannot be god when he made the blind see jesus cannot be god when he is a son of virgin jesus cannot be god because now he is in heaven alive but jesus cannot be god because he don't know the judgment day all those things we just mentioned to be alive over every human die. In Islam, every human die. The Quran says, uh, uh, Muhammad is a messenger between messengers who all of them, they pass away. Yeah. Is, is the Messiah a messenger? For How? them, yeah, but for us, no. No, no, I mean, if he is a messenger, the Quran says that all messengers before Muhammad, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they died. Yeah, yeah. And the Quran so, says, if this is a book, have contradiction, cannot be from God. Yeah, true. Hmm. So how the all the messengers before the Messiah died and the Messiah is still alive? Are we talking yeah, about man, the same religion? This is a contradiction. Yeah, this there's so many contradictions in the Quran, like very stupid. Like you mentioned about the 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 star and the creation day even Allah cannot remember which one he make first let, let me show you something very funny in yeah. chapter 3 it says yeah Muhammad not but a messenger messenger have passed away before him this is false by the way it says all the messengers pass away before him why if he die or slain what kind of God you do not know if Muhammad will die or slain? Why he's saying if he die or slain? Mm. <laughs> do you know why? Because there's no third option. <laughs> yeah. So I am God and they, I say to you, I'm going to tell you a prophecy about what how I will die. I will say, okay, if Muhammad, he says, if this verse says, if he was slain, you leave Islam. Well, and then Muhammad, he was slain. That will be okay. God, he said, Muhammad will be killed. Oh, look, it happened. But now this God, because he didn't know, Muhammad, he did not know how he will die. He had many enemies, they might kill him. But he might die still um. normally. So he added two options because he himself did not know how he will die. Yeah. But we will see the Messiah. Yeah. He knew how he will die. The Messiah, he yeah. told them what they will say even when the Roman, they come to capture him, right? He told them when. Right, right. He told them what they will say. They told them how will yeah, they yeah. will deny him. So the Messiah, he knew Muhammad did not know and his God did not know how Muhammad will die. 
It's like yeah. you come to me and you say to me, hey, CP, are you a prophet? Sure, sure. And my name is an Arabian prophet. He say, my wife, she is going to deliver a child. He's going to be a girl or a boy. I say to you, let me prophesy to you. I speak to Allah. And then, listen, Allah, he just told me that your wife, she might deliver a boy or a girl. Eww, that's deep. There's, that's deep. There's a third option. <laughs> <laughs> you come to me and you say, Christian Prince, can you ask your God, Allah, to uh, uh, the moon God, to uh, to tell me how I will die? <laughs> okay, listen, I think I, God, he just told me that you might die by car accident or by cancer or by your wife beating you with the, with the, fry mich with the fryer, uh, uh, potato fryer, uh, or by uh, uh, airplane crash or uh, by uh, uh, falling from the roof or you know this is not a prophecy yeah what kind of god he do not know how he's a prophet he was going to die other prophecy all of those pro provide us with very important thing that muhammad did not know like muhammad in chapter of al kafirun he said that i will not worship what you worship and you will not worship what i worship so you will not worship what i worship and i will not do worship what you worship because you don't have worship what i worship and you have the religion i have mine later all of them they became muslims he just told them i will not worship what you worship and then and you will not worship what i worship and then all of them they worship what he worship in fact he worship what they worship man what the fuck? no don't use bad language so chapter That's 109 funny. chapter 109 be careful don't use bad language you know try not never to use this language this is doesn't make does it this is does not make you a smart person doesn't make you a good christian that doesn't make you a valid person in society stay away from this okay. language you can say like what the heck there's many words to avoid saying such a stupid thing That's so the chapter of a kafirun Proving to us that this is going to be from God. Why? Because if Allah, he knew the future, don't he knew that they will worship him at the end? Mm. Don't he knew that Muhammad later, he will recite the satanic verses and he will be, down, be, he will be born down to the three daughters of Allah? So how he will not worship what I worship and Muhammad now worshiping what they worship and later they worship what he worship. So again, this is a false prophecy from a false God. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Uh, just one more. All right. So, I'm from Malaysia. Okay. So, my in the Bible, in our Malaysian and Indonesian Bible, they use the word Allah. The same. They use the word Allah. Yeah, about that. That's false translation. Avoid it. So you can use the Lord. You can use Elohim. You can use uh, you can all use any word uh, use as a word for God in the Bible, but don't never use the word Allah. Never pray for Allah. Allah is Allah is not even a, a word. Uh, it's two words. It is A L, which means God, and La. It's the name of the God. La is the moon God. Moon so God. why a Christian? This is all is a false. Uh, you know, if you have you know, I will tell you how to fix this. You can download this translation and select the word Allah in Microsoft Word and replace it with the word Elohim in everywhere or whatever equal language in your language with the word Lord or God. Take the word Allah totally from your translation. It's a big fa false and it's absolutely a shameful act from any Christian to use the word Allah when he read the Bible. Yeah, so that's why I, I always like shock when I first hear you, like you said, Allah is not in the Bible, like. But we, when I was still a child, until now, I always see the word Allah, and when we pray, we also say Allah. I heard that in in Malaysia, for uh, uh, the, the court, the Muslim they made a case. Yeah, yeah. They that made, Christians they should not use the, the word Allah, Allah, correct? Yeah. Okay. The the the, the Muslim they told the truth. You should not use it. The reason the Muslim they don't want you to use it because they think that when you use the word Allah as a Christian trying to make somebody accept Christianity, Muslim they find it a lot easier to convert to Christianity because oh they believe in Allah anyway. But this is false.
Krishna, I I just say the Lord or Father like that. Uh, yeah, they say that, no. There is like you can go. Let us say if you wanna if you wanna make an accurate translation, you can go to the Bible and search what is exactly the word is used there. Like uh, as an example, you know the, the Jews they use many words to avoid uh, uh, calling God any name. So they call him Hashem, Adonai. There is many Elohim. Uh, so you can you know you can use in your language a word which is equal to God. But don't use the word Allah. So you can download the Bible in your in your in your computer, search in Microsoft Word for the word Allah, and you click replace, and choose a word in your language, which is a word mean God, Lord God, you know. Okay, I understand. Yeah, and you know when the Muslim they. Uh, uh, like I, I heard now that there's a new uh, uh, the order from the court that a Christian, they can use the word Allah. And I find it very funny and very stupid of the Christian there to fight to use such a word, disgusting word. They don't know what they are fighting for. Malaysia court rules, non-Muslims cannot use the word, use Allah. Okay, we should, we, actually this is, this is even better. I'm so happy. I wish all courts in Islamic countries where Christian are using stupid translation for the Bible using the word Allah, they will do the same. That will make me happy. We cannot find the yeah. word Allah in our Bible. Show me where we where this word is coming from. And we don't have the same God. Our God is a spirit. Their God is not even a spirit. So we don't have the same God. It's absolutely false translation. All right. Okay, so okay. I I will tell my Christian friends and family about this so they will also know it yeah you can download the bible the same as you have in your language just replace the word allah with the word lord or god in your language and share it or again publish it okay I all understand. Right. and for before i go all right uh thank you for your time and i hear i hear that you like sometimes coughing so please take care of your health and Maybe I think like people did not really appreciate you because you are very very good debater. Like you're not like same same Shimon and we don't want to talk. I, mean, I, I don't are, like people to good. talk negative about other person. There's no need for no, no, that. No. Okay. I, I said they, they are very good, but they don't know how. They don't really know the technique to expose the Abduls like that. Yeah. Because you are an Arab, so you can understand all the Qurans. So all the Muslims cannot fight you. <laughs> Like you don't know Arabic. Yeah, so but I, I will tell you, really I'm, like... I'm drinking now chimer urine, and I think things is getting, getting better. I'm not coughing as before. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad, he told me to drink chimer urine, and I bought a camel, you know, and uh, this camel is so uh, nice. Uh, he always piss a lot, and uh, I'm going to open a store uh, to sell camel urine. So if anyone have a, like a allergy or something, he cough. Uh, please drink camel urine. Prophet Muhammad is the best doctor. That's why he died, and he could not heal himself, because he is the good doctor. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about my caffeine. Sometimes I have, you know, allergy. I cough uh, from any smell, anything. You know, if a dust, if uh, if I, uh, you know, I, I am a single man, so you can like okay, maybe my table is not perfectly clean from dust. I guess so. If if I hit the table, that will make dust, and that make me cough. So. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm not sick. I'm I'm fine. All okay. right. Uh, so before I um, I want to like verify like I'm not saying David Wood or Sam Shimon not good. So I, I think people will misunderstand me. I always watch their videos. Always watch everything like their debates. But my point is, you know the technique to expose the Abdul to corner them uh, like that. Mm -hmm. I just. Think. Only okay, God is good, you. my brother. Only God is good. God is good, and only God is good. None of us. We yeah. are just doing what we can, and only God is good. And we, if we do good, it's the good of God, not our good. Thank you very much for, for calling. Thank you, Christian. Please. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye -bye. Only God is good. You know, human being, when he's so proud about himself, that means he reached the point of foolishness. If there is something I can be proud about, that I have the Messiah. That's it. The rest is not really to be proud about. 
uh, you know, like if you have, let us say you have intelligence, let us say you have a high IQ, it's what God gave you. You have a strong muscles, it's what God gave you. You have a beautiful face, it's God gave you. Whatever you have, it's God gift to you. Everything you have is a gift from God. So how you can be proud about something you don't own? And, uh, you know, the Bible warned us about foolishness. The foolishness of the man is when he thinks he is so wise and he knows. Uh, so we have to be careful always uh, from being proud. It's like, you know, the, it's like, you know, when there is a big tree, it's so tall and high. This is the one who is going to be taken by the hurricane. It's so proud. All right. Uh, and this is why you see we do we should not as a Christians we should not speak about other Christians bad and bad mouth them. That's why I don't appreciate someone he opened a channel, uh, Catholic or Protestant. It doesn't doesn't matter without saying any name. And then I start bashing the Protestant or bashing the Catholic. We as a Christians, we should work together as a family. And if there is someone we don't agree with him, but he's still a Christian, don't don't act like the Muslims. You go to heaven, you don't go to heaven. Don't play the stupid game. Heaven and hell is not your business. It's not you who decide who go to heaven, who go to hell. The one who believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the crucifixion of Jesus, that only Jesus can save. Who are you to tell him you cannot go to heaven? Who are you? Don't be God on earth. That is a sign of disbelief. So we as a Christians, if we agree with someone, let us say you call me, you are a Catholic. Okay, I don't, I don't agree with the icons, but doesn't mean you are not Christian. Doesn't mean you will go to hell. Well, guess what? Because you love Jesus so much, you love, you have a picture of him. That's not because you are a bad person. It doesn't make you a bad person. It make you a bad person if you are a drug dealer. It make you a bad person if you worship stones. If you think there is God beside God, if you think that there is somebody else can save you, not Jesus. But if you are a person who believes that the Messiah only is your savior, and you have a picture of the Messiah, a picture somebody draw it. Okay, but for me this is wrong. If it is a piece of art. Okay, if it's a piece to, let us say, register history, like in the old days, they used to do mosaic. It's very amazing, beautiful. It's a beautiful art at the same time. It's preserved the stories of the Bible. That's wonderful. But it's not a picture to kiss and pray in front of it, etc. So those things I don't agree with. However, if you do so, that does not make you a bad person and that does not make you not a Christian. The same for someone is a Protestant. So don't you know don't start giving the keys of heaven the same as al khomeini you go to heaven you don't go to heaven all of you are the same jesus said whoever believe me and believe in me and i will live not who believe in protestant or catholic or orthodox all those movements actually i believe they are political motivation or motivated movement it's about controlling government controlling money controlling none of them actually is doing the work the work of god they are organized organization they live in palaces they don't live the life of the christians and then they go and they say we want to wash the feet of the cardinal once a year but did jesus he wash the feet once a year this is what jesus want this is what Christianity is about. So we live in the palace all the year, and then today we will wash the feet. We live like kings. Is that what the, the life of Paul? So the true Christian is the one who go in the street, preaching the, 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 the gospel, or like now we have the internet. So what we are doing now actually, is instead of going in the street, in the street I cannot find 1,000 people, and if I go right now in the street, I will be arrested for bothering people in, in the middle of the night. So we can go now in the street without going in the street. 
So true Christian is not the one who have a palace and the one who wear a uniform and have a big cross and people kiss his hand and call who your excellency. What excellency? What is the Lord called excellency? We call him Jesus. I mean, if Jesus, we call him Jesus. How in the world we call a man excellency? And that you find it everywhere. His, uh, the, the Protestant, they have titles, the Catholic, they have titles, the, the, uh, the uh, or, you know, Orthodox Protestant. I mean, what is this? What titles? I get upset if somebody call me pastor. I'm not. I'm not a priest. I'm not a bishop. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm less than you. So they love titles. They love positions. They love to be on the front of the screen. I don't even open my camera. I'm not interested. None of you know me. So, we as a Christians, we can be united only if we believe in Christ. The second the devil enter between us, we are divided. And this is how you know if you are a Christian or not, and if the devil is entering your life or not. If you start cursing the Catholic or cursing the Orthodox or cursing the Protestant, you are far away from a Christ. A true Christian is someone believe that the Christians are a family and we can be wrong and agree about something and disagree as long as it is not something, uh, you know, touch the divine nature, then who care? And I say who care? Who care if you, uh, if you are a person uh, who have a Pope? Okay, have a Pope. But if your Pope, he says something stupid, then it's your duty and my duty to get him busted. Because remember, the Pope is a man. He's not God. Even Peter, when he said something wrong, Jesus said to him, stay away from me, Satan. Peter, the rock, the rock of the church. Stay away from me, Satan. So if the Messiah, he can say that to Peter, we can say it to anyone when he do wrong. So a duty of a Christian person is to rebuke, but not to curse a Christian person. All right. Uh, let us see if we have any Abdul want to call us. All right. Someone saying to me, please CP, avoid sitting for a long time. Okay. Yeah. Well, I try to stay. I say to myself, sometime I'm going to go live today. I'm tired. I will go for. Uh, I will make a short video, like one hour, and then uh, the one hour will become ten hour. What I can do. Uh, I love what I do, and I love to see people leave in Islam, and this is what happened today, so we are happy today, and I hope tomorrow too. Somebody trying to call us, let us see. Mostly it's Abdul, maybe. <coughs> Hello? You are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. Are you a Muslim? Yeah. All right. What do you like to say to us? Uh, let me mute my rumble first all right so um your arguments like Aisha and stuff it's not really valid I mean just heard someone married uh, can, can, can you please if you don't mind can you stop moving your microphone because it's making bad noise all right all right, sorry. All right. so my argument what go ahead like just because uh Muhammad married Aisha doesn't mean he's not his claims aren't real I did not I say did that. that. I did not say that. But this is one of the signs of a person who is corrupt. Because why a man at the age of 54 will go after a child? Give me a reason. Go ahead. Well, he says that it was revealed to him in a dream. If I say now I revealed to me in a dream, with my respect to you, to have your daughter and she is five years old, is that a valid reason? If it was God, yes. Why God want to make a man see a dream about five years old girl? I, mean, it's God. I, can't say what God I understand it's God, but why God want to make such a dream? What is the, what was the purpose? I mean, Muhammad is a man. What this girl she can do to this man? Go ahead, tell me. I'm listening. What did he say? You said to me that God he made Muhammad see in such a dream, correct? 
Yeah. Okay. What was the purpose of Muhammad marrying Aisha at the at that age? What a girl at the age of five years or six years, she can benefit God. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know. Okay, but you see, then you have to think about it. You know, it, you are not sure. I am not sure. But uh, then the logic is broken. It's you who mentioned to me that Muhammad he saw a dream, and that does not make it uh, doesn't make him a bad person. I can say the same. I can say this now that God he made me see a dream robbing a bank. I go tomorrow. I rob a bank. Why? Because God he made me see that. That is not valid. I mean, you could say the same thing about everything. Exactly. So you are giving excuse. I can say now, I saw a dream to kill you. Okay, and do I showed you. Like the judge, he said, why you killed this guy? Oh God, he showed me a dream. So now we fail to prove that this has happened, but what is not, or something we cannot, we cannot deny, that obviously Muhammad, he have a sexual desire for children. Do you know, do you know the story of Jabir? No. Okay. Jabir is a man, he uh, uh, he got married, and he was can, can, with. Can you can you wait for me to get a microphone? All right, no problem. Okay. <laughs> we will wait for him to change his microphone. All right. Can you hear me better now? Yeah, I do hear you. Go ahead. All right. Um, no, you were saying something about Jabba? Yeah, a person, his name is Jabba. You speak Arabic, right? Aye. Okay. So Jabba, he got married, and he was uh, going into, like, uh, Ghazwa. You know what Ghazwa, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So he was going in a, in a, in a like, a, in a pirate business to attack the neighbors, steal their women and their money. And then when they were coming back, Jabba was in a rush to go home. Muhammad, he said to Jabir, why you are in rush? Did you get married? He said, uh, yes. Jabir, he said, uh, Muhammad, he says, did you marry a young girl so she can play with you and you can play with her? Mm -hmm. What do you think about why Muhammad is encouraging a man to marry a child? He's married, he's not complaining. He married, he said, I married a widow. A growing woman, she was married before. So why Muhammad, he is encouraging a man, he is not complaining, he is happy with his marriage, to leave his wife and marry a child just for the sake she can amuse you and you can amuse her. You can play with her and you can play. With, she can play with you. Is that the reason? Is that a, a, is that a statement of a prophet of God? Is that a, is, is that a wife? Imagine your daughter, she is married. To a man and she was a widow and then a man he married her and then she the, the husband he see prophet muhammad and then prophet muhammad he said to the man your 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 son-in-law hey did you are you getting did you get married yes i got married from who or oh, from this woman she is a widow why you don't marry a child so you can play with her and she play with you so you can amuse her and she can amuse. obviously muhammad he liked to have sex with children Otherwise, why is advising the man who is marrying a widow to leave the widow and go after a child? And the per what is the reason? To play with her and to play with you, to amuse her and to amuse you. This is what the file they do. They have a fantasy about having sex with the children. They have a fantasy about touching their feet. They have fantasies about playing with their hands. This is what the file is about, is a, is a, is a mental illness. So my friend, I, I'm showing you the hadith on the screen. If there is any valid reason for anyone to give such an advice? I mean, everyone has their 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 interest, you know what I mean? Ah, I, mean, I know, I know, but this is the interest of Muhammad. What is the interest of Muhammad? Is to have sex with the children? That will make him a prophet? How that, how that, work, how that from God? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't like, it doesn't make it false. So if a man, he encouraged men to have sex with the children, leave their wives yeah. where they are growing women, it's okay. I mean, it doesn't make it false. 
It's not. It, so it, it, it make it what then? It make it what? It could be the truth, even if it's not. If it's not something that you like, it's still true. It's, what, 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 what does this have to do with God? Having sex with a child, how that make it the truth? I mean, this isn't this isn't his uh, his message. His message is to have sex with the children, and that make Allah is the truth, and Muhammad make and that make Muhammad a prophet. This is your opinion. What? You are saying to me that in your opinion that uh -huh. the reason he is encouraging people to have sex with the children because he is a true prophet. Uh, no, that, that's not related. So what is the yeah, what not. is the relation between Muhammad the prophet and Muhammad encouraging his men to go after children to have sex with them and not to marry women who they are mature? What is the I reason? Mean, Give that, me the reason. That's just his type. That, that's just what he Exactly. Likes. He's a bit of fire. His type. So the man, he yeah. answered him. He, yeah, you answer. He agree. Guys, he agree. His prophet is a bit of fire. You know, he said, the man, uh, 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 Jabir, he says, Abdullah, my father, he died and left girls. I dislike to marry someone like them. I married the lady, a matron, so she may look after them. So Muhammad obviously is asking him to marry a baby child because he is a bit of file and he enjoy having sexual entertainment with kids. This is this is a clear evidence, my friend, that your prophet cannot be a prophet of God. There's no way God he will he will uh, he will in, he will select such a man. First of all, is advising a person to think about other person. She is married. Is that an advice of a good man or advice of the devil? Do you like me to I mean, speak to your son-in-law and tell him why you married the daughter of this man? This is a, your, your son, your daughter. She married a, a, a person. And then I, I go to this person. I say, hey, why you marry the son of Muhammad, the daughter of Muhammad? Why you don't marry a child? Is that is that the right thing? Be honest with me. I, mean, I, I wouldn't say it's right or wrong because my, my grandparents married like really young too. You know what I mean? What your, so what your, I, what your grandfather was and what your mother was. What your grandmother was? My grandmother was 11 and my grandfather was 21 or 22. I'm not sure. 20, okay, I will go with you. But this means that huh? your grandmother, she married when she was twice older than Aisha. I mean, Aisha was married at nine, right? No, at six. Or, or consummated at nine. It wasn't well, no, she was in the house of Muhammad at the age of six. He was molesting yeah, he her. Was because he could not have intercourse with her, so he did not do it until the age of nine. But she was yeah. living in his house at the age of six. Yeah, but he, he didn't touch her at... No, he did. Who she... said so? She is his wife. And the hadith says that her mother, she was tea, uh, uh, feeding her cucumber and date so she can get fat, so she can send her to Muhammad's house. Yeah, so this was before six, right? Uh, exactly. So the, obviously, uh, Aisha, she is not... She is not good for such a thing. She is just a child. Are you, are, you, are we talking about a goat or a human being? So now we feed, the, we feed the goat to send her to the butcher. She's a child. So when I actually, she said, my, my mother, she fed me to gain weight because I was so small. And she tried everything until she gave me cucumber and the flesh of date to eat. Then I gained as much weight as she desired. To do what? So they can send her to the prophet house. So Aisha, obviously, when she is married, she is not even physically so small. And her mom now, she is feeding her like a goat. Mm -hmm. But th this doesn't make it not true. They okay, okay, you know what? Us. You see, I'm not the one who mentioned this. It's you. I, I, for me, I don't talk about Muhammad having a child is a reason for anything. It's you who mentioned it. But give me you... From your reasoning, give me one reason to believe Muhammad is a true messenger. Go ahead. Um, I don't know. Um, give me like a second to think. Go ahead. Take your time. Um, I gotta go pray Isha right now, but um, I can call you like tomorrow earlier. Okay, no problem. You know, you're welcome. What's your name? Uh, Uthman. Uthman. You are welcome, Uthman. You are a nice person. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, so right, you, you promise me to call me tomorrow? 
if I go live? Yeah, I will. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Obviously, he didn't have anything to say. You know, he would look for a reason to make Muhammad a prophet. But as you see, Muhammad, he feared. There's no way a good man, he advised other man. Like, imagine I have a neighbor and he's happily married. I say, why you marry this woman? Why? Huh? What's wrong with you? Why don't go after the children? Do you know how nice it is to touch them? Huh? She would amuse you, man. This is, this is the whisper of the devil. This is not godly man. A godly man, he would say to a, the, the other godly man, good for you, stay faithful. Love her, take care of her. Not go, why you don't go and marry a child? So this is an obvious proof that Islam is, an, is a disgusting cult and Muhammad cannot be a man of God. I always I encourage you all uh, to invite more Muslims to call us. I want to say thank you. I don't know why but today we have many Muslims calling. I'm so happy to hear that. Look like there's, they are following us from YouTube too. But I encourage you to ask people to come and join us because that will reach, let us say, our education and will give you the ability to learn how to answer Muslims because this is a real conversation between a, a Christian and a Muslim. So you hear what Muslim excuse is, and you hear what the Christian's answer is. So it's very important if you always try to invite and bring more people here. So the one who listen later and they learn, and they they get they they, they learn how to answer the Muslim. You see, when I when I listen to Muslim, by the way, I don't speak to every Muslim as the same. I don't know if you noticed that. Like the one who called me before, he was a very filthy person. I know him filthy. So I have to deal with him in the way I deal with a filthy person. The person I feel that I feel he's a nice, he's speaking respect. I am even nicer than him. Do you know this? The reason I do that, the Muslim believe that if you are nice, that because you are weak. So always they try to speak to you from the uppermost position like they are superior. The second they see that they are facing a lion, then the Muslim, he will change his tone. So if a person, he speak to me, nice and gentle, I will be even more gentle with him. I will give him a compliment. Like I told him, you are a nice person. I can say to him, just bye-bye. Okay, call me tomorrow. But I wanted to encourage him to do, speak the same way and not to be the same as the rest of Muslims. You have to listen carefully who you are talking to, what kind of a person, listen to his tone, listen to the way he's talking, and then you can judge how the response will be. And this is what this is another like side of what we do is teach teaching people how to do speak to people too you know people they get so nervous uh, when they are like you know when you are debating i don't know if any of you ever experienced such a thing like normally your your head will be burning you know what burning because like you know like you are pushing all your electronic uh, you know, brain cells to like, you know, the engine, you know, because you are like you are right now on a trace. And now you want to, you want to experience who is going to win. For me, I don't feel any, any kind of a stress when I am debating Muslims. The only time I feel a stress when I speak to someone is so stupid. I, I hate to associate myself with stupidity. It, it, like stupidity make me feel I want to jump from the window. But argument and debate with someone he's trying to understand, I can stay with him for two hours, three hours, I have no problem. But because it's a debate, it's not a normal conversation. 
because it's a challenge it's not a friendly thing it's because that we have a history of a blood and war between us so things is not really too much friendly there's already enmity and that make it sensitive but still we have to sense as a Christians the spirit of the person if he is a devilish or he is a person he is seeking the truth and we maybe we can save him it's like you know you put somebody in the in the x-ray machine how far the cancer is there is it tiny is it big is it taken over the body which means it's over is satanic so you have to work your sensor so you can sense the spirit of this person and you see how you can help him and then in the second thing you have to use his logic like you notice he is the one who mentioned to me his own logic it's not try to say the prophet is not a prophet because he married Aisha at the age of six this is his logic so I went with him but he could not give me an answer for what his logic is about so try always to use their logic not only yours use their logic against what they say uh, <clears throat> where does it say being nice is weak in Islam it's in the Quran in the Quran it says that Allah he put humility on the Christians and the Jews this is why they are nice so the Muslim when they see you nice oh the Quran was right see Allah forced them to be nice so instead of saying oh look how nice the Christians they say oh Allah he is he put him unity on them if you go to chapter 2 verse number 61 and chapter 3 verse number 112 it says that Allah he bitch over them the humility you see it you can change the translator if you want this is why the Muslim they believe that your kindness is not because you are nice <laughs> that because Allah he curse you so when they speak to me and they are speaking as an uppermost they think we are Christians who've been cursed by Allah and this is why we are nice friendly and I am not friendly to them they say how come you are acting like this you don't act like a Christian so when you are nice they make fun of you they think that your God he the God of Islam sorry he cursed you This is why you have to be careful when you speak to them. Don't be nice to someone who don't deserve to be nice. Otherwise, they will take advantage and they will think about it in the wrong way. All right? Uh... Well, I, yeah, I better go. I'm here for many hours. Uh, I want to say thank you, guys. And I want to say thank you for all those who support us by any mean. Uh, uh, usually, I don't say thank you for those who made donation. But for sure, we appreciate you. And I know you do not want me to say uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, as you know, we are busy talking. And uh, I, uh, I, for sure, we appreciate all the support. But the major support we have is not only people who give us donation, is your existence, you are learning, you are sharing, you download videos, we share it with your children, with your family, with your friends, and you bring us Muslims so we can save them and we can continue our mission, defeating the cult of the devil and bringing victory to our children so they can have a future. I'm not worried about God. Nobody can defeat God. I'm not defending Jesus. He do not need me to defend him. 
That is the Lord, the victorious. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? It's not the opposite. But we are doing what we are doing. So you will not be deceived. Your children will not be deceived. And then we can save Muslims in the same time. So I hope we take notes, not only sitting here for entertainment. I hope you take, like, you know, you can open in your, uh, you can download a browser in your computer. Uh, let us say uh, you download Opera. Save all those things in one browser. And, and you make maybe a category of, uh, uh, of folders, like uh, about women. So make a category for women. And then save a link. This, uh, this link, make a note. Uh, you know, when you save it in the bookmark, this one, this link is about beating women. This one, this one is about uh, seducing women. Uh, this, uh, you know, about uh, a scientific mistake. So later, when you need them to show your son, your daughter, your friend, any argument you have, you don't go and you start looking for a Christian prince. Maybe he can help you. All right. So save the reference, educate yourself, educate your family and be strong. And, you know, knowledge is power. And the most powerful knowledge is the one come from our Lord. The most powerful wisdom is the wisdom of the Lord. We are going to be victorious because we are in his side, not because we are wise. But however, if you are in his side, you are wise anyway. For the wise man, not the foolish man, is the one who take the side of the Almighty God. And the Muslims, sadly, they are following a pervert who all what he care for is his private part. A person totally the opposite of what Jesus taught and what the Messiah is about. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you, if not tomorrow, I will try to come tomorrow. Maybe, maybe same as today, after maybe. Uh, but uh, you can subscribe to Patreon. You will receive a notification as soon as I post something. And you do not need to do make donation there. It's for free. But you will receive a notification as soon as I post. I am going live. God is good. So is Jesus. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.